Morning. Morning, morning. Morning. Morning, morning. Mark is chopping today. Mark says, this three more here. Yo, but guys, today it's Friday, so Theta Gang. That's all you got to remember. Yep, you don't want to be in nothing quick or for a long time. Dude, by next week's expiration. You got to do next, next week's expiration? Yeah, in the first hour or so here, you can buy this week's expiration as long as we're getting a big quick move. But uh, if it starts, it, it can still move up. If it moves up slowly, you, you need to buy next week. So, uh, so if I see something that looks like it's going to move slowly, then we'll get into next week. You get into next week, okay. But right now, we're going to be looking to get into stuff uh, today is the expiration. Okay. So I gapped up this morning. NVIDIA ain't going to stop. NVIDIA's not stopping that thing. Hey, Jay, I got another question. I got a question for you. Um, yeah. I know you've answered this before, but um, so on this chart up here where you have all these uh, tickers, what are you looking for again? You're looking for a two up or a two down or what? On these tickers here? Yes. <laughs> I'm looking for any kind of, yeah, I'm looking basically for reversals or reversals. consolidation breaks. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any kind of reversal or continuation. Hey, Big O, check out T Mobile, T Mus. Yeah, team wants to break in uh, pivot right now. So there's a triangle layout yesterday on a 60, and it's ripping right now. Uh, these things are very volatile right now. Anything can happen right this, at the moment. Team must looks really good. I mean, it looks damn good. It's ready. It's primed to go. It's longer at this second. I just want to take profits quickly. Your stop's going to be at 142.80. It's already at 143. Yeah. Yeah, that's jump, nice. Jump, that's nice. Just, just jumping. What about Target, TGT? TGT was looking good the other day. Yeah, they just... <laughs> Target and Gap up. Gap yeah, Target looks good. God, Target's a monster. Be careful, though. It gapped up. It can fill that gap. It can fill that gap, yeah. So if I... Especially in the first 30 minutes here. All right, let me get to my 10% scan, see what's going on here. See what's moving. I want to keep an eye on the video because it's consolidating right this second. Oh, yeah, I was going to ask you about them. I'm going to try to get it. Consolidation. So the video breaks above 693.49. I'm going to take it long. There's a TTO uh, yesterday evening. This thing ain't gonna stop, so I'm gonna get it ready here. Hey, Jerry Tesla looks like he's about to make a, he's trying to make a comeback. Nice. I'm gonna work. Hey, because Nvidia Tesla here. dropped yesterday, I went and bought some, some calls on it, <laughs> and they're kind of there. I'm up 26 percent now. I bought some yesterday. Nice. It dropped. <laughs> it, well, it, it dropped so much. Uh, I know Tesla. They're gonna come up, so I just went. And, Wait for it. Good. Yeah. It's in a downtrend right now, but it's this could be a pullback uh for it goes lower. Who knows? It could come all the way back up to 603 if it wants to. Let them open for a little bit here. It could be profit taking. If I was you, uh the guy that's got the Tesla stop or the call, I'd put a tight stop on it, man. Where are you thinking? I wouldn't want to give any of it back. I wouldn't let it go no lower than 581, 581, yeah. If it brought, dropped below that, cut it. Okay. It couldn't keep going. The video's popping back up. Everything's kind of choppy right now. Spice pushing. I woke up late today. Well, Spy could be trying to come back up to 422 again. Inside is the next five-minute candle. 
Tesla. And I like to see Tesla do a two one two on a fiber. That would be love. So right now we're looking for zero DTE calls. Tesla inside right now. So get it ready. Look at Marna. Yeah, where is my answer? Yeah, Marna is shooting right now. They Marna looks really good on the uh, higher time frame. Yeah. Spy QQQ ain't gonna stop now. Sedge ripping, by dude ripping. Oh wow, spy is going. Man. Yeah, so spy bridge back above this high here to be long. Uh, target to be four twenty two sixty two. Spy break above 42120 be long. Target four point two. Everything's kind of everything kind of stuck right now. Really weird. Really weird. Guess I'm just lagging. Yes, is up. Which Corey at today? I'm here. Okay. I'm here. Hey, doing, doing, doing great. Hi, everyone. SMH is really smoking. A good stock to keep your finger on is CSX. They're going to have a three for one stock split. It's one of the rails. All right, NVIDIA is going to break here, it looks like. If it breaks 694, it'd be long. Test is going back. Remember, put your tight stuff on that test. You don't get no money back. Yeah, I'm watching it. <clears throat> Big gap down. That's why you got a lot of gaps and stuff. So, all right. There's nothing like ten percent skin. It's really weird. Order canceled. Hey, pal, Docu looking like they want to go. Gary Docu has on on the ten percent scan. Is it? It's so weird. Not, Not quite ten percent, but it's 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 right there. Good. So I'm gonna mark it. Hi. I'm showing leads. I'm gonna mark uh, the base for gap fill and docky. Sedge is ripping, by dude's ripping. So I show a leads on the ten percent scanner. L E D S. Sedge is going. Sedge pivot machine gun, possibly. Strong. He can move uh, another eight or nine dollars. No, I'm just gonna trash it though. The video hit your mark. No, it's weird. It pulled down. It's some kind oh, of I see TLS crap. I mean, nice to see a bounce. So. Uh, Another run. Anybody looking at PayPal? Connection reestablished. Oh, PayPal's going. Base coming right back up. Targets. 266. Can I chop it sideways, though? That's not. AMC cracked 50 properly. Tesla, I mean, honestly, Tesla is really weak on this higher time frame. 
It's super, super weak. Futu. Somebody said Futu over 152. Yeah, it needs to break that pivot on the 60. Well, let's way back up. Yeah, this is key. 252. If you look at PayPal. Yeah, PayPal's moving. Uh, stuck inside. Trying to come back up through range. It's chopping sideways here, though. If you trade it, it's about $6 a range. You see it here. Oh, I see. Jerry, MRVL is breaking about a few pivots. MRVL to S. Spies along here, guys. Uh, Jerry, we had the Amazon play, 20 bucks, man. Oh, nice. Those are your plays on Fridays. Amazon? You? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. I woke up late today. Hey, looking at the one. Looking at the one hour, the target on the uh, spy is all time highs. Yeah, yeah, it's got room at 422. I'm long spy right now. Target 422 is that big red candle. I feel like we're setting up for a big bull trap. Yeah, there's something, there's something up, man. Volume's down, volume's way down. Just really be careful. There's something, these there's market, something's up. These market makers are dirty this week, man. They got me yesterday good. Yeah, they they're dirty because of AMC and all these mean stocks. They're they're out for blood, man. AMC stuck inside on a fiber. It's been in a major downtrend. Uh, Jerry, uh, Docu is calling your name literally. Docu. Wow, Docu calling everybody's name. Oh shit! I had a word said on that thing. What the hell? <laughs> Dr. Sorry to Mom, use this word, but this but is like this big dildo way, candle. <laughs> Gosh, that's so crazy. Yeah, donkey can come up to two thirty six if it wants to. I don't know. It's you gotta be careful. I mean, I don't know. I would have been long right there. I've probably been out at two twenty one. Shop as well, if you guys want to play shop single candle. Gosh, yeah, I would have scalped the hell of donkey. I didn't get alert. I'm getting alerts to the highs when they come down for some reason. AMC, I heard we're going to kind of take it back up today. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Coca Cola's going nuts. Ko. Uh, Dang. Yeah. Spy is good moving. Yeah, Spy is ripping. This doc is. You guys know why Gap? Right? I'm long Spy. Oh, Tessie, get ready. Doc, you had earnings. Oh, okay. Yeah. We get a break. If we get a clear break right here on Tesla, target is uh, 597, 596, and then 600. See that 2-2, two, two, big giant 2-2, two, two, 60 there? It could be. got to be careful, though. It could just be a pullback to the downside, too. There's no clear signal in it yet. Spy, spy still long here, guys. All right, Nvidia, here's our first candle. The first 15 minute candle. Now we can start to save some stuff. Nvidia inside trying to break back up here. It could be a TTO, Nvidia. Jerry, take a look at MDB, MongoDB. Okay. I'm setting up alert on Nvidia. Nvidia's fixing me long here. Just one second, I'm gonna get in there. Roku long as well. I 
gonna go ahead and get Nvidia. Um, now Nvidia's longer at the second right now. Let's see if she'll run. Roku's gonna get up to gap at three thirty six and up. If anybody wants to play it. Uh, okay. What a film. There goes Tesla. Tesla's got a big, huge bar to come up, guys. Come on, Tesla. I want a clean break here. The video's up 695. I feel like NVIDIA is moving a lot like Tesla after they did the stock split last year. Yeah, it's ripping, man. And we know it can move a lot. We got Twitter. Oh, Twitter about to go. It's just it's breaking a pivot on the one hour and the 60. Yeah. This is long. Up five percent on the video. Can you look at Twitter? Yeah. For me. Yeah. Should I wait um, for it to break this pivot on the fifteen? Let's we'll see what the higher time frame looks like. For the thirty. Yeah, you uh, better. You better. But look at four the hours. Hit that level a couple times too. Three times. I see the four. Yeah, I'm looking at the four now. I see it. Yeah. Let it break wait for that. Yeah, let it break that. If it breaks that, man, it could be. To the moon. Uh, let me get an exact price on it. Fifty-eight seventy. Yeah, so Yeah, this is a four edge at that level. If it hits that, man, she's going on the alert on top. But this tested it several times. I see. The longer the, the longer the consolidation bigger the break, the more times it tests when it does break yeah, it long. But look, you can if it re, if it rejects, short the hell out of it. I might put a word on the base of it too. Oh, it can come right back down. Look, every time it tests it, shot right back down. So, yeah, see. You no know, breakthrough, take it back to the dance All right, now I'm getting some stuff pop up here. Google up $27. Google, that's where I want to be at. Google's got a beautiful chart. Oh, yeah, just broke. Yeah. Microsoft's going. I saw Goog this long, but I mean, shit. Microsoft NFT. Yeah, oh, sure is. And Microsoft is good. Microsoft's got room at 252. Microsoft looks really good. There's that two, two bounce on, on the daily. Microsoft looks good. Gosh, yeah, Microsoft is more breaking that 60 pivot. You said you was in the video, right? Yeah, I'm in the video. Okay. Yeah, yeah I'm down in the video right now. It was up for some, I'm down for two. Waiting for it to break this 695, right? Oh shit, up 12% on Google. They're going to the video. Holy shit. Guys, you got to worry about theta today. If you're not in and out, you're going to get in trouble. 
you're gonna be in trouble. You gotta get in and out of these things unless you get next week expiration. Market data connection re-established. Where's, where's Ricky? Yeah, here. Yeah. Oh, Doc, you could be trying to come back up here. It breaks two twenty one eighty eight. I tried to pivot low on weekly. It's from two two thirty five next. Looking at the top though. He is breaking down, breaking up for gap fill, gap down. Sorry. Which one is? Uh, B A Boeing. B A. Yeah, it's heading down. Yeah, two thirty-five. All right, let's go, let's go. baseball. On the on the daily, you got a evening star, kind of a sign of a reversal trend. Nice. I got to try again, boys. Come on, Nvidia, let's go. Nvidia going again. What a film. I'm adding to the video here. Up 10% of the video. Add to the video, boys. I think it's going to keep going. What's the target? I have no idea. I don't know right now, bro. Uh, I'm going to put a trail stop on it, though. I'm not going to play yeah. with it. Real tight to stop. Because yeah. we're dealing with theta, man. Right, right. All right. Yeah, I didn't jump video. in where I wanted to. So I'm going to in the video there. Uh, 157 to contract. We're not going to play with it. Look. If it goes back up or come back down, goes back up, I'll hop back in it. But I'm gonna be scalping. I'm not gonna play today with shit. <clears throat> not gonna do it. Come on, Tesla. That Boeing looks good to the downside. Oh, really? Nice new video, still ripping. Jerry, you been looking at the TTO forming on uh on Tesla on the five? Oh yeah, she's ripping it. She fits to go again. Yeah. Nvidia or Tesla? Tesla. Nvidia yeah. still going to it. I, mean, I see. Uh, yeah. Nvidia just went up three dollars. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Ooh, if it breaks seven hundred dollars, go there five dollars real quick. Look at that uh, three one two four hour there. Crazy. So I got out with six contracts in Nvidia. I'm not gonna be greedy with it. Yeah. 
Did I miss him in a move? Yeah, I don't care though. Don't care. I'll hop back in and have to pull back. Might not play. Not good day. We scalp. We scalp. It goes goo. Come on, girl. Who's facing a TTO here? There she go. Oh. <laughs> Look at there, one six nine nine ninety on the video. Yeah, my money. Come on, Tessa, let's go. Break. Look here, Tessa's got room to pivot low here for number six. Gonna get a bounce and take a shot. Re Reestablished. Tess is long here, guys. No end. Dude's got room at 2440 today. Tesla, where you at? Oh shit. Tesla up 12%. Let's go. Let's go. Wonderful. 16%. 16%. Connection lost. Market data connection re-established. Yeah, who the hell is computer speaking? <laughs> yeah, I know, that's so crazy. <clears throat> Come on, Tess, let's go. <laughs> I don't know, it's so weird though. Oh shit, NVIDIA's fixing and breaking. I down. think that's my computer. I'm getting back in the video here. Come on, let's go. The video breaks seven uh, here. It's long because it just TTO'd right here. This is a TTO in one candle here. I will be buying this week's expiration and the money. This is still going. Holy shit, up 30%. Look here on the one minute. That one candle is a TTO. I see it. I can see it without looking. Yeah, it's going to break 700 of the long. Tesla, 32%. I'm going to put a trail stop on it right now. I'm not giving it back. I'm going to put a one cent trail stop on Tesla. I don't give a shit if it goes to the moon here. Not on zero DTA here. It's a uh, flip. The video, I'm telling you, is going to be ready. I'm going to go the key. I'm going to key. Out of test, boys. 
Now look, we'll look for TK Ole Miss. Look, get on this thing, pivot low. It could come up to 605 today. Says keep going here. <clears throat> uh, Twitter, guys, Twitter. Twitter just broke the top. It can dang go a long ways here. Twitter's long right this second. You might want to get let you. You might want to let it. Uh, in the top right. See how it looked at just right there. You want it to be a full bar. So when I say long on something and it's and it pulls back, I'm not gonna hit the button. I want to see a full candle, a full break. All right. Just so you clear. If I go to here and it's pulled back, I'm not going to get it. I think Apple's long too. INTC's going. Me too. Google. Oh, go. All right, I just got a spike. Y'all see Tesla? Tesla? Yeah. Hey, I'm up 77% on Tesla, y'all. Mm. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Is that from the calls from yesterday? Not mm. when it dropped. Remember, I told y'all when it dropped yesterday, I bought some calls out until next week. Um, so yeah, the video's long again, guys. The video long again. I'm up, I'm up 84% now, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Cool. nice job there. Nice job. What I'm talking about, my friend. Yeah, this is strong. I mean, Tesla, Tesla does what it wants to do. Market data connection reestablished. What uh, just out of curiosity, what gave you the the signal to buy the calls for next week on Tesla? I just know I've been watching Tesla's been one of the stocks that I've been watching. Um, I know it's a big mover. Um, and when it falls like that, and then just from watching this, like you know, like he said, like uh. uh uh, uh, Jerry always says, you know, if once it falls like that, it's going to come back up. So sure. Tesla's and Tesla's a big mover. So I knew that. And that's why I bought it out till next week, because I knew that at some point it was going to come back up uh, it was before, next, before next week. So, yeah. And yeah. If you look right here on the weekly. It's nice. that million dollar question. So it's found base here, but it's. You know, yeah. so it's strong, it's but it can still go. But if you got it, it can still go either way. We we just play what we say. Nice man. Now in the video, if you look in the video on the four hour, it's a three one two continuation measure move. So. You want to see the power measure move right here? It is on the four hour. That's why I like that four hour. Split the days into two. You see there, three inside gone. See this break right here? It's what we trade all day. It breaks all day, every day. See this break here? It's gone all day, every day. All right, clockwork. All right, clockwork. I'll get y'all's question in just a second. I'm sorry. Yeah, I got back in test a second ago. I'm already out of it again. I'm already out of it again. All right. Get y'all's question right quick. Um. <clears throat> so I'm not trying to. Oh, it goes Tesla again. 
So I'm trying to, I'm not trying to ignore anybody in person anymore. It's just so much stuff's going on. Uh, this ain't gonna stop. Tesla breaks through pivot low here. It can go to 640. 640. It needs a pullback though. Right through people low. Next hard to be six oh three. Tesla. Watch out for Twitter too. Yeah, I was just about to say Twitter. It looked like it, but it's ready. Oh, it's 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 ready. It hit my alert. Some follow through here. Cool, yeah, Twitter's long right now. It's breaking through that because I remember long consolidation bigger than break. And uh, man, that's days and days of breaks there or consolidation. So yeah, look here. That's a two one two continuation major move on fifty seven. It's a dollar move coming up right now. It's a connection lost. Twitter is long, long, long. Tesla is long, long, long. Connection reestablished. This is long. This ain't gonna stop here, guys. I tell you what, though, Tesla is doing a pullback. There's resistance right here at 598, buddy. You're in Tesla. There's uh, some resistance at 598. So be careful. Twitter also has that five dollar gap fill on the daily chart. Nice. MBDA. I've been watching that one for a couple days. <laughs> nice. Goog. I got it a goog. I got in the goog. I'm out. That's, that's a ripping boy. Six oh five coming up on Tesla. I don't think my mic was working. There, there's a five dollar uh, gap fill on Twitter on a daily chart. Nice. Market data connection reestablished. MVDA is going back pretty hard here. Jerry, where's the target on Tesla again? Uh, 605, big old huge red candle. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Big old huge red candles. I'll show you. It. The first target was this pivot break here. On the 60 at 595. Next target is the top of this red count, 602. And then it can go all the way back up through. Since it's in that channel again, it can come back up to 635. So. It doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. I'll tell you that. It ain't stopping anytime soon. All right, boys and girls. What else is on the menu? Wait, UNH. Oh, UNH is 2 2 back up through range. UNH. See UNH right here? See this big hammer on the 15? Two down, two up. Target's going to be the top of this big red candle. 411. Eight, nine, ten. That's $3 away. Kind of pull back right now on the fly, so you wait for it breaks, come back up. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Gotta be quick, boys. Gotta be like a sniper. Now look, Tesla breaks back above five, nine, eight, 40, add. 
Black Air is so healthy for it. Are you still in Tesla? No, I got out. I got in it twice, got out pretty quick both times. Let's do a pullback here. NVDA. Yeah, you could be trying to TTO here. Need to break back above 700. If not, this could be the first pullback to the downside. <laughs> All right, there's Target. There's Target. Target's long here. Big hammer. Big hammer. Man, Target is a monster, dude. Target is a monster. All right, we're getting some chops sideways from the Let's see what I do. Key looks good. Man, that T Mobile broke out too. I missed that. Microsoft's going again. Two one two fifteen. Oh, money. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, Microsoft Law. Absolutely, target on it is. Give it high, 252. Microsoft, man, it used to be one that was uh, always on my charts. I was a 212 on a four hour two. Microsoft was long, man. What's the target on Microsoft? Are you getting in, Microsoft? Um, I'm not in it, but I wouldn't hesitate to get in it though. Uh, Target's gonna be that pivot low on the 60. I'm gonna charge my way right now. Um, there we go. Microsoft is long without a doubt, though. 100% without a doubt. If Corey calls something, it's long. Uh, Jerry, you're, you're gonna have to bring Microsoft off the bench. I know it. I, you, you know, another one I used to have up here all the time, um, Lockheed Martin, LMT. Love it. I need to pull it up. I ain't looked at it in a while. I love them. Kind of choppy, but man, it, oh, look here. This is why I used to be on the bench right here. See that? That's why Lockheed Martin used to be on the bench or used to be on the, on the main screen. Let me just stick it back in there. I'm going to do that right now. STA is going to go. I'm gonna oh, let's go Martin Twitter. In there. Twitter's still working. Yeah, Lockheed Martin. Uh, it used to be there all the time. All right, UNH, guys, is Brett. UNH is long right now, target 411. Shop. Shop, shop, and sideways, coop. Wife here dying. Okay. Roku's have jumbled mess. Roblox making lower highs. Snow. Ooh, snow's pulling back down. Snow's in a really tight range here on the 66. Expanded. All right, ZS here. Look here. Pushed in it, broke through. It's retesting. ZS can come back down. Let's take a look at it. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's, it's making lower highs. ZS can come back down to 150. 150. Unless it breaks back through, unless it expands here. It could look like this. I'm going to put a word on the base of it with retest. <clears throat> come on, Chester. Bring your ass back up there. DHL. 
DHR looks pretty good. Airbnb. Actually, I'm going to go back to DHR. It looks pretty good. Retest. Oh, yeah, that's good. Mm. Okay. Okay, let's pull them back down. Maybe CR. Choppy mess. T-Doc. TTM looks pretty good. I don't know what that is. But... TT. Oh, look at this. TTM. It's doing a turn on the app right here on the monthly. Trying to break it out of the weekly. Pivot here. Uh, this thing might be going next week. Yeah, just ready for me. Here comes Tesla again. Tesla has to make a new high here. If it don't, it's, it's gone. Tesla has to make a new high. 598. If it fails to make a new high here, it'll go back and start chatting. Target's still the top of this huge red cane. That's why we like the big red cane. Let's price quickly pushes through. Yeah, keep it on testing. Amazon. I can't wait. I miss it. Uh, yes, I can't. I don't know why I took it off there. I guess I just. Uh, Lockheed Martin. Look at that thing. That's a monster. He's a monster. We'll extend it right now. We're going to run on top of it. Come on, Tesla. MDB. God, 40 bucks. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good for 2 2. Now MDB, it's got room to four hundred. It's got room for a hundred dollar move. There go Tesla. They make a new high. It's trying to. It's trying. Tesla breaks five ninety eight thirty nine. Add to it. It tried to and came right back down. Yeah. Yeah, if it forms that double top there, it's showing some weakness. Need to show some strength. Right now it's just chopping sideways. It's consolidation. It's inside. See that inside on the 15 there. Um, here's the thing. It needs to hold. It needs to hold 594. If you add hold, it's going to go. Oh, yes, Jeff Scott, you are welcome, my friend. You're my welcome. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Tesla's uh, he's at that point right now. It can go either way. It bounced off weekly support twice and made a higher low. Come back up. This could be a pullback to the upside, hopefully, or it could be a pullback to the downside. Still sitting on the fence, but it's strong enough. I don't think it's gonna die. Yes, sir. Exactly, there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. With Tesla, you just got to play what you see. And right now, it double topped here on the 15 or so. Uh, again, if you're in it, be careful. Don't give nothing back. <clears throat> Don't give it back. Twitter. Yeah, Daryl. Oh, yeah, no problem, Daryl. Yeah. All right, yeah, who ever called that one to begin with? There's a big seller sitting at 600. Um, 
That's right. Never stop running. Yeah, lock it in. That's me. I know. I know better. Would I? Am I missing that on on a few dollars each time? Yeah, I don't care though. I'm locking them in on the way up. I'm setting my price. Setting my price and sticking with it. Yeah, so if I was in test and it came up and it touched twice and rejected that second time, I'd been out. I would not, I don't know anything against me twice. Of course, I'm not in it, so. Yeah, I jumped out of Tesla. I don't know. Yeah, once it did that, I jumped out. And that don't mean it can't chop sideways here and go right back up. It can. But, uh, man, you don't. Yeah, I'm waiting. Out. I'm going to jump back in if it does that. I'm waiting for it to, you know, cross that mark that you had set. <clears throat> yeah. See, it pulled right down, right back below. Pivot uh, low. Should have gotten that docking a little bit. Oh, it pulled back. Oh, it's about to shoot up. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. Look at Tesla trying to come back up. You mother. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Docky's longer at this second. Yeah. Multiple chances on the two on two, too. Yeah. So that's, that's nice. Man. Docky measured move right here, too. 210, 21. It's a $10 measure move here. 231 is target on this thing. Yes, sure. But again, it's getting close to 11, 10 30. Uh, if you want to take full advantage of the move, you probably want to buy next week expiration. Sure. If you see on the spy tech cumulus now negative. Oh, shit. Sure is. Oh, so everything's chopping down. And you are very welcome. You're very welcome. Yeah, always want that clear break. Take profit. Never be greedy. Never be greedy. Great job there, Ryan. And Fridays is, is really good for, for small accounts, but you got to be quick and you never be greedy, ever. UPSC says making lower highs here inside. Market states are connected. Market states are real stuff. Yeah, this can go either way. But it moves so much, man. We can, you know, we scout this thing all day long. DS, ice. Side PNV push up on over there. Q fin. fin. It double top there, made a lower high on fiber inside. Dang, it looks good on the weekly and the monthly though. You can bring a monthly high. Look at weekly pivot. Beautiful TPO here. Push up retest gone. Pull back. Gone. You can look really good. I'm going to alert on it. Measure move 60. All right. Let's go to just an instant okay. okay, so I might try to come back up. You can't take it unless it breaks down 98.40. Huh? Connection loss. Market dates of connection re established. All 
All right, we'll find some more stuff here, guys. We're going to find it. No rush. Yes. Yes. Small wins add up, too. Small wins add up, especially for small accounts. $10 here, $20 there, $50 here, $5 there. Look here, I'd rather have a dollar green day than a hundred dollar red day any day. Yeah, really. I'd rather have a break even day than a red day. Green is green. Green, absolutely. Green is green. What um what Broker, do you use? I hear your thing going off sometimes. What is it doing? Is it's it uh, it's international brokers. Yeah, it, for some reason, one of the channels keeps uh, it's got like I don't know how many channels, and one of them keeps disconnecting. I've had the internet people here all the time, but uh -huh. still works, still works fine. So, well, that's all it that matters. Yeah. Hey, just put your mic to uh, push to talk, so that robot thing doesn't keep uh, going on. <laughs> yeah, I turned the volume. I turned the volume down. The only, the only nice thing about it is, is uh, it tells you when it's uh, the order went through. Pete's on to the downside setting up. Yeah, Pete's on this look good. Pete's on's been a super damn choppy though. It'll look, it'll puke, and then it'll come right back up. It'll puke, it'll come right back up. Right now it is short though. It's trying to lay out on the fiber. I'm gonna sit here and watching it. Yeah, I'm in small. See if it see if it goes. But uh, yeah. Jerry, keep Jerry, keep an eye on, on Microsoft right now. It's ready to bust again. Yeah, I got Pete on my big screens. I've been watching here lately. I usually catch that two two back up during the day. And Pete on. Uh, Pete on's good as cheap. You're right though. It is short. But uh. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I can't watch it. AMC trying to do up there, man. Microsoft ain't gonna stop. Let's look here. Target on this thing is pivot high, two fifty two. And speaking of Microsoft, I'm gonna throw it back on my big screen here. Let's see here. I had new yesterday. Place it hasn't been performing, so it gets cut. It's actually been doing pretty good. I just think that's where. Baidu, of course, up there. I made more money on Baidu than any other ticker ever. Well, besides Tesla, I guess the NVIDIA is probably up there with it now. But biggest day on, on Tesla was $100. Two entries, multiple ads. One day. Daryl, I appreciate you, brother. And you you need to get you a mic, Daryl. You got so much insight on this stuff, man. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that you, uh, the uh, more advanced traders and stuff can add to, or people that's been in the game a lot longer than I have. Like, I might be pretty good at that, but, you know, I've only been trading for a little bit over a year. And like Corey, he's got so much stuff. He knows the market like the back of his hand. I mean, that Corey is incredible. Absolutely incredible. I mean, he gives me, you know, he gives me ups and stuff like that. But that guy, man, he's he really knows what he's doing. Like when he calls something, it's it's automatically an entry. Uh, Gary's good too, though, man. Gary's great. Oh yeah, Gary. Yeah, man. There's so many good people in here. There's so many. Yeah, Corey speaks. Gary speaks. Uh, I don't know everybody's name. There's so many good people in here. Hey guys, just ignore me. I talk a lot of shit. Daryl has all that information. He don't talk. <laughs> yeah. There's so many people. I can't I can't keep everybody's name. I know your voice, but I don't know your name. Microsoft looks like it might be TTO and on the one minute. I'm hoping it could be. <laughs> yeah, so TTO back up. Tessa could be trying to TTO right here back to the upside. So look, Tessa's chopping. Tessa's clearly chopping right here. And so what we look for is we want. That's what I do on these scouts on Tesla all day. It'll move and then it'll chop sideways. And the longer it chops, the better. Because when they break out, <clears throat> they run. Just like um, just like Twitter. The longer the consolidation, the bigger the break. And really, every chart trades the same way. I know there are different names and tickers and time frames, but when it boils, when you boil it down to it, it's each if there was no time there, they would all look the same. 
All right. The only difference is one moves faster than the other. How fast can you derp it? And that's all there is to it. All right. So if you put Twitter up and you put Tesla up, we're looking for basically the same thing. It's just how fast can you interpret the move? That's all there is to it. So a Twitter, uh, so the Twitter breaks, yeah, it's consolidated here on the four, and then it broke. Where is it? Looks different. Okay. It looks different. Oh, never mind. There, there you go. That's better. So Twitter on the four hours in this range. All right, you can trade the range just wide enough, but the more time it tests, the it's in this range. The more time it tests, the better the break. So it's so even though it's in a range that's testing here, it's basically still just a consolidation. So this range here is a consolidation. It's bouncing. It's bouncing until it finally don't bounce and more it breaks. We're waiting on that break. And the higher time frame the break, the bigger the move. And, and uh, yeah, they're right. There's a big there's a big gap fill here. So this is on the four hour. We're looking, we're looking for the same thing on every time frame, even the, the five minute time frame. So Twitter broke this morning. Hopefully it comes back and retest this pivot high and keeps going. But uh, test it. Five minutes. It's ranging. You know, it don't matter what time frame. Of course, the larger the time frame, the bigger the breaks. Right now, it's just chopping. It could go, it could really go either way. But as long as it's in this range, we don't trade it. That's inside. So, uh, so anything, even that Twitter on the forearm, that's just a, it's a compound inside. I don't care what the numbers say. It, it is, it, it's ranging. It's consolidating. It's resting. It's just a rest. That's all it is. Because right now, had a big move this morning. With 20 bucks, it needs a rest. Now, will it roll over? It can. But the thing is, everything's a two. It goes inside, it could go two, one, two up, or it could go two, one, two reversal. Now, the way these breaks happen too, and price expands, they, they expand over and over and over. Uh, so, let me see. So, right here on Tesla, here's a pivot, it could expand up. And then start back over. All right. So it wicked up. You know what I'm saying? It wicked up past pivot low. It rejected. So guess what? This move here could be twice the first. So if we measure this, if it decides to go short here, this thing can puke another 30 bucks today, 20 bucks. Um, it could go right back down to 570 and then puke another 20. And that's, you know, we play what we see. <clears throat> I like for it to go back up, you know. The weekly says, yeah, I'm going to bounce. I'm going to keep going higher. But right now, it's at a pivot. It's at a pivot, and we don't know which way it wants to go. So we just sit back and wait. We don't try to guess. We just we play what we say. We're not going to guess which way it's going to go right now. We're just going to wait to get confirmation. How do we confirm? Which one's confirmed by volume. We can also confirm by um, a pullback. So if this thing wants to go lower, we wait until we see that first pullback. Two pullbacks is even better. So right now, Tesla is trying to go short. See, it's making lower highs here, lower lows on the five minute. But again, you got to look at everything. There's a pivot low on the 15. This thing can come back down, bounce. It can expand right here. So you're always going to be thinking of it. All the possibilities this thing can do. You can come right here. Let me show you. Here. Bounce down just a hair and then go right back up. So I say all the time too, every time frame needs its own pullback. So, you know, we're getting small pullbacks here. But this chop sideways here could just be a pullback on the 60. Remember, it just ran 20 bucks. So right now, there's there's two possibilities to go up or go down. Jerry, where's the pivot that it could go off of? 590? Um, let's see here. Yeah, so on the 15, it could bounce off that and go higher. Yeah, 592. Or it could go on the 60 here. See how it whipped up just a hair? It could 
it can hit 597 and go down. Yep. So if it goes down, the first target's going to be 576. And if it goes long, it's still 603. Right now, there's no direction. It's just chopped. Just chopped. All right, thanks. What? Yeah. Volume is very important. Going. Ah, thank you, Christian. <clears throat> yeah. Zoom is going. Oh, nice. There's a move 60 right off the bat. Some nice TTO, small width there. Needs to break that 332.94. Looking good. What's the hair tapping with that? Yeah. Jerry, you can look at uh, Beyond. It's doing a reversal. Pretty decent one, actually. Oh, yeah. Can I break the pivot on 15? It's still inside this range here. But it is coming back up. Any reversal is going to start on a lower time frame. I'm sure. trying to play that the cradle move where I just try to catch the bottom and make it oh, all the yeah. way up. Well, shit, the weekly on Beyond looks really good. And it looks really, really good. It's got room back to 221 for one set. Right now, it's a bear flag on the daily, or a bull flag. It's triangling that out. It's trying to, it's making lower lower highs and higher lows. It's wedging. It's, it's going to break. Nice. It's really good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, uh, Big O, or Big D, he was like that. He loved those further trades. He liked to get in them as they started coming up. So yep. if you get in now, your target's going to be what, 151? Magnitude on the move? Well, I was playing the pivot from uh, 142 to 145. Mm -hmm. I'm actually surprised it hit the 146 pivot. And my next stop is set for 150 almost. Nice. That's crazy. Lockheed Martin, TTO, long right now. Lockheed Martin. I think it's going to go, Jerry. It's at 147. It's breaking. Might be a quick scalp for everybody. Also, take a look at NVIDIA. On the five minute, it's going. On the 15, it's a two down, two up. Where are you at, NVIDIA? Son of a gun, 700. Is it back above 700 now? No, it's right there, though. About to beat it down. Oh, yeah? Could be right now. It's in that range. So, NVIDIA, if you take NVIDIA long, right now, target's going to be 701, 7190. We want to see a clear break. I'm kind of, I mean, I know it works. I know they work. But as long as it's inside this range here, I'm scared. I'm scared to take it. Not to say it won't work. It will work. They work every day. And right here on the 15, it's a two down, two up. Target 7190. The reason I'm scared is because it can come up to 7190 and then, and then bounce back and go back in the range. Of course, you know, two dollars is two dollars. No, I'm not saying this. There's, there's so many ways that things can't. There's, I don't want to knock anybody's trade. Every, there's so many ways to trade. So I don't want. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to. Just because I want to take something right now, don't mean it's not good. It is. It could be very good. And, and I want to say this too. If you catch them at the bottom coming up through there, first of all, you're going to pay, you're going to get cheaper fills and you're going to catch more than move. So there's so many different ways to play. There's so many different ways to play it. Jerry, look at Intel on the 30, 212 measure move. It's got some meat on it since all the SMHs are going. Oh, yeah. I think you broke right now. Yeah, no, we had this guy in the room. His name was Big D, and he did so. So, what you're doing now on that two two back there, he called it a cradle trade, and he made a lot of money because people thought it was going to go lower, so they got out of the calls. He bought them up cheap. So, 
So I didn't see use running, so probably probably gonna take Nvidia come back up with it. Apple probably gonna come up with it. Spy's gonna come up. Spy's long still. Yeah. Um Apple's trying to come up. So this right here could be like a a cradle trade back through. You you how's him you doing? I think Beyond's gonna be the lot over the day for me, man. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. You're looking for an ability to cross 701.90, right? Yeah, but, but but like they were saying, Nvidia, I mean, you know, you catch it at the bottom. And uh, see, their target's going to be 701.90. Actually, it's going to be seven, 760. And then 701.90. I'd personally like to see it break 701.90. I'm paying more money. I'm going to pay more money for getting in that thing. The only, the only thing is, I'm I don't know. It's just I want to. If it breaks that, it's possible it's going to go off to make a new higher. There's no. You just want to get the clear. You, you want to get a clear break so they don't turn around and reverse it on you. Yeah, right? it's just a. It's just a higher. Uh, it's just a higher probability of, of, of to keep running. Right. Yeah, it's, it's LNT, hey guys, if you guys want a free play, I'll why is it not letting me get in? Beyond's gonna probably hit 150 at this rate, 149 at least. I see Peton here. It does this every day. Peton does this every day. Where it comes back, it pukes and then it two twos and comes right back through the range. That's why I keep on. What you on, bro? You at the crib? What's that? All right. Yeah, the video's timing. Time and ready to go here. Uh, let me look at Beyond right quick. Beyond. Oh, shit. Hey, Jay, yeah, let's take a look at that. Let's tell you guys to get in. You can go up to 150 at ease, I think, now. Yeah, Beyond is long. It's kind of extended now. It's kind of late like to get in, but you get a pullback to get in. It's ripping. Look at the volume. Oh, shit. Yeah, I would, I was trying to tell you guys get out. I'm like, this is going to be a wicked lotto. <laughs> oh, shit. It and started Jerry, as a cradle, and then it just kept going. I'm oh, sorry, buddy. I'm sorry to uh, interrupt you. And no problems. I was just uh, asking uh, Jerry if you can take a look at Dash. Dash, yeah. It's it's got an inside candle on the. Oh yeah, I think you here. So uh, let's take a look at it. I got some of those Beyond Lottos yesterday, mm. just because it was on an inside day. <laughs> Must be enjoying this right now. I'm watching Dash. it. I'm, I'm in nothing else. I'm just watching Beyond. Dash is inside day. Two two up on the four hour. It can come. It can possibly come back up to one fifty fifty three. It's you gotta be careful with dash. So it's inside month, inside week, inside day. Two two. If it's gonna reverse, it'll happen first on the four hour or or five hour, and then keep going. But uh, it's possible it comes back up to one forty or one fifty. So if you want to take it long, take it when it breaks one forty four seventy eight here. But just remember it's. It's kind of choppy. Played, kind of played within the range. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of. Yeah. I hate to say it. It's definitely moving. I like how it's got this big red candle coming up through here. So you're going to pivot machine gun up. You can see some resistance at 146. Yep. Looks really good. The only thing you need to be mindful of is, is uh, there's a lot of, a lot of inside stuff there. Yeah. But again, any kind of reversal we're going to get, it's always going to happen on a lower time frame. I love the two two on the four hour. That automatically says it's going to keep moving up, and I love that big red candle. It can quickly come right up to one fifty one. Yeah. So if you're going to take it, take it when it breaks one forty four ninety. And since it's kind of a smaller ticker. It might be best if you wait until it breaks 145. I don't know. Okay. If you want to go gotcha. up 10 cents and be on a safer, a safer entry, be 145. As soon as it breaks 145. Gotcha. Thanks, Jerry. You're welcome, sir. On Beyond, Gary, did you see some kind of call volume or something or anything unusual? Well, I was, at the, I was looking at the gap and I was like, well, it's going down. So, what I did yesterday is I was looking at plays that need to go to gaps. And then I just started watching on opening, and this thing started going down. 
So I was just waiting for the uh, the reversals, kind of like an inverted hammer or something, and that was it. Yeah. So I took that. That's like some people call it catching a fallen knife, but yeah. if you kind of have your pivot set, you know, it's not a big risk. So that's what I did. I caught it at one forty two ish, mm-hmm. and I just let it run because it started reversing. Most of the time, I look for a hammer or inverted hammer or yeah. or dragonfly doji to kind of verify that that trend is ending. And just like right now, when I was looking at the five minute. I, I sold my plate simply because it, it, it seems like it stopped twice there. And it was originally a shooting star, but it just got even bigger. So I got out. I think it's going to consolidate and then go for a leg up. Yeah, it could bounce off that pivot on the 15 and shoot right back up. Yeah, so I, I just got like 20, 20 stocks and I cycle through them at night. And I'll cycle through them during pre-market to kind of get an idea what's going to happen or where something's going to go. And just that's it. rest is probability. Now. I got to learn on General Dynamics. Um, it's giving me a long signal right now. GD looks really good on the higher time frames. I marked this a while back because of this uh, TTO right here on the weekly. Mm-hmm. Kind of chopping still. It's it's in a it's in a range, but it came up to 197 eventually. First part is going to be 194, which ain't that which ain't that far. I'm looking for some tickle. Ooh, the video's getting trying to come back up. Yeah, Futu just broke, so Futu's on here. Right now, target being on 154. You get a break through that if you go. Futu is two two month. That's a two dollar move. You might want to wait now on uh, Futu. Extend it. You can pull back pretty quick. Did you hear another one that might be a good swing uh, could be apps if you look at it. It came all the way up. It's probably going to settle down, and then it has a huge area to a range of 77. Apps. Yeah. I'm looking on the daily mirror right now. Manager 2 2 right there. It's got, I love that big red candle on the week, 7582. Uh, NVIDIA, guys. So you guys that got in there early, you, you hit the jackpot on it. Like I'm saying, there's no there's a right or wrong way to get in anything. I mean, I just a little bit, I don't know. I'm going to hit certain areas. So NVIDIA's long right this second, guys. The video is long. Let's see if she goes. Look, here's a measure move right here. That's a beautiful TTO right there, too, on the 15th. 684, 698. What is that? Seven. Uh, $15 move. We'll call it seven. 15, 7, 18, if it wants to go. I have a seat inside. Uh, look at Tesla can come back up. Tesla's trying to TTL on the 15. We don't know. It's making lower highs and lower lows. We could, though. Inside 60. The base is pull up through there. All right, so I, I'm long now on the video. 670. About next week expiration. 20 bucks. 710 is measured move on the four hour. 17 is measured move in the four hour. So let's see. So to, so to me, you know, you have to find these measured moves or stuff like that to even find targets when you're all time. I guess you can use fib levels too. Wait for it to come out. Wait on. Peton's just too choppy. It's just too choppy. Um, I used to play Docu all the time too. Lockheed Martin still going. Lockheed Martin still going. Now I took I took Lockheed Martin on three ninety three break. 
Not that much, 9%, 9.2. Let's sit there and eat. Roku was a nice short from 332.55. I, I got in at 332.50. Nice. Risking Lockheed. the um, opening range breakout. Yeah, so Lockheed Martin's trying to break through this pivot. I've noticed here lately, too, a lot of times they'll have volume as they flush through pivots. I'm trying to work on trying to catch that big move as it runs up to pivot. Let's take a look at Roku. It just keeps on making lower lower lows. I mean, it's just like been going down ever since the um, basically the fifth five minute candle from yeah. nine nine fifty on. It's just been it had that one little spike, but then it's just been down. So. Oh shit! Yeah. So on the weekly here, these are just TTOs to the downside each time. Mm -hmm. Like a lower half, lower loss. This thing can come back down to two seventy one. It's an inside day, but it's a shooter. Shooter the downside on the inside. Wow. So this is just to be a TTO target band. What? 323. I used to keep Roku and FC on my screen all the time, but what happened is I took them off because they were just so choppy for so long. Chop sideways. Hey, Jerry, a uh, possible bigger move will be on snow as well. It's already done a pretty decent uh, up move. Oh, there's a beautiful TTO there. It looks like NVIDIA. In a way. Push up, it's shiny. It needs to hold 243. I'm going to mark it for 250 in the future. Time frame for oh, trying to break that weekly there. It's either going to break through or it's going to reject. I want to know about it if it breaks through it. It's a new one there, IPO. That's like Airbnb, is pretty nice. I'll play Airbnb when it first dropped out. Break at 245 and keep it going. Lockheed Martin, man, I, I just can't believe it. Up 12%. It's breaking through that four hour pivot. Look at the longest consolidation we're gonna break. This thing's been consolidating for a long time. See right here? There's that consolidation here. It started in, goes back to March. Long consolidation. Started here. It started chopping right there. So all this is just a compound inside bar. Okay. It's here. And then on the month it's Inside. Sometimes they go back, but if you look at the, when I say that, if you look on the month, the quarter, uh, or something like that, you'll see it inside. It will be inside somewhere. Unless it wicks up, like uh, say it ranges and all of a sudden it wicks up a penny, a dollar, it marks it as a two. And it, don't, it doesn't matter. I don't care what that number says. Okay. All right, TTO it breaks back above 394.76. I'm going to add to it. And our next week's. All right, the video is trying to hold base on this pivot low here, which is a good sign. And that's one reason we keep our stock just a little bit below it. Right here. Now look, entry will be on the break of the pivot here. There's some people that got on that 2215, which is great. 
you put your limit or your stuff around this break here, you're in trouble because it looks down right here. See that look down just there? So this could be a TTO right to the upside. You would have been stopped out. Gotta give us some room. Gotta give us some room. UPS, take a look at it. There you go, my video for us. Exactly, yep. Exactly, Daryl, yep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so you don't have to watch a bunch of stuff. I mean, I watch 10 or 15 stocks, and, and you're exactly right. There's at least one or two opportunities a day. You don't have to catch big moves either, not on Tesla. I mean, you can literally catch a couple dollar moves and make a lot of money. And with one contract, you don't have to load the boat. One contract is enough. Gotcha. Thank you, Igor. Set today, first day. First day. Yep. Yep. Inside day is a choppy day. Yes, sir. Anthony. Oh, Anthony. Okay. Sorry about that. Oh, shit. Okay. This is a ADB not. Uh, Anthony? I think that's how you say it on Twitter. If that's true, if this is Anthony on Twitter, man, this guy's really good too. I am saying, yeah, it's slowly, it's making some dojis. It is trying now. Yep, run date, just it, yeah, everything is accumulation, distribution, and then rest. All right, now look here, we might be taking Tesla short here. Get ready. Get ready. It's safer to buy next week's expiration. If it makes a quick flush, you can scalp it. But I'm talking about you better be in that. So if it goes against you, you're going to be hurt. Because it's zero key data. All right. So look, it made a lower high here. It's continued to come on down. Sit right there. We could see a flush. I want to see it. I want to see it break five hundred more. Oh, dang! I'm right in the middle of the trade. Hey, uh, for me. Hey, you hate it when people come to your house uninvited. I hate that. <laughs> I do. I hate that. Yeah, my in laws. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I don't mind company, but you know, shit. And they do, they come to the saving, and I'm in the middle of work. It's my job. All right. Then you come back after hours. Shop's closed. Oh, turn my light back on. Hey, y'all, look at Zoom. Turn my light back on. Thank you. Turn it back on. Raven. Zoom's flying, man. That's a nice engulfing bar on the daily.
Oh, wow. All right. Is that Hey, someone called that Zoom. It's doing really well. Yeah, it's starting to pull back a little bit now, but yeah, it was. Zoom. Oh man, that's a big old measurement on a 60. Yeah. They could try to break that pivot. I'm gonna mark that pivot too. Tesla's trying to flush here. Or trying to reverse. Lockheed Martin, uh, you see her here on five minute, it's chopping sideways. Uh, it needs a clear break of 334.62. The thing is, it's inside of a range. Right here on the 60. I'd much rather see it break 336.43. But you could definitely play it up to 336. That's a four-hour move. All right. AMC inside, inside. Can't do anything with AMC right now. Get hurt. Definitely watching it, though. A bunch of it calls it expiring today. Tesla, on the other hand, uh, I'll be setting up for some next week calls or puts. I mean, it rejected our pivot low. It did break. It trapped bull, bear, or bulls if they thought it was going to keep pushing. Now it's slowly coming down. I don't want to see a slow movement. I want to see a big, big, quick movement. Yeah, Lockheed Martin wants to be on the 15. Starting to go sideways here, making lower high or higher lows. All righty, so we'll go back. You up here on 10 percent, chopping sideways. Ooh, Verizon was alerted. Let's see what she's doing. She's on tennis. Yeah, Verizon looks good. All right, so I'm gonna sit here, push up, came back, retest, gone. Uh, it should have told me about the retest a long time ago. Maybe this morning would be good. Made higher lows on the weekly. Two down, two up. Big red candle come back up $50 million. Two went through measure moves. Um, forever. Coming up. A little extended. Something like this right here, you can't you can't just hop in. I mean, if it pulls back, you can possibly get in. I'd rather see a actual red candle. So I will get I will get in stuff on individual candles on a so uh, uh, one green bar could turn it inside and then go out. So you go from one to two in one candle. And that'd be interesting to turn back to and swap that form of high. The video trying to come back again. Nvidia has been beast. We haven't played Nvidia for three weeks. Three weeks. Got my own Tesla. Dang it. I want a flush. It needs to break. Before I'll even think about taking this, I want to break a certain level, and that's 590.91. Now we got two pullbacks on the fiber, which is a good sign. It's, it's definitely going lower. Oh, shit. AMC. AMC popped. AMC's breaking right here. 212 trying to come back up. I'm Third not going to get in. Got $56. All right, here comes the video. AMC's too off there right now. I'm not scared of trading. I just want to get in. Come on, the video. Give me another five dollars. Give me ten dollars here. Let's go. There you go. There we go. The video breaking.
Ну, Nvidia Breaker. CTO. Come on, Nvidia, what you got? What you got? I plan on going to add to it again. AMC. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <clears throat> whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. NVIDIA up 7%. Come on, NVIDIA, let's flush, girl. PD. PD breaking down. Ooh, get a machine gun. You got a thirty-two dollar if you want it. Shooting on fire. Come on, no video. What you got? What you got? Up ten percent in the video. Still got a big measure move break seven oh four. Keep on going seven oh five. Lucky Martin gonna add to it. Lucky Martin ain't gonna stop. Slow grinder. It's doing it. It's doing things now. All right, I want to see the clear break here though. Measure move looks like gonna hit. Three eighty eight. 393. If I don't measure move, it will call it 397. Test is slowly going here. Test is slowly going. It's a slow grind. Well, we said it was soon for one. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you for that, uh, Al Harji. Who to? Let's take a look at it. Who to? Ooh, yep, our TTO back up. Broke 60 pivot. Boy, that's good. I love how it's LMT. LMT. Oh, yeah, LMT long or add. So when I say add to something, that's the same thing as along. You can along it. In the video, boys and girls, broke 704. Up 11%. Come on, let's go. She going. Give me 705 in the video. Let's see what you got here. I'm adding to my video. Oh, two two going. Seven oh bring seven oh four bring seven oh five. 
Futu's long here, guys. Futu is long. Got your break on it. Beautiful. Good job there. I love that. Are you still in spy? I'm still in spy, yeah. Okay, spy is long again. Yeah, they I'm long up. again. Oh, yeah, spy is it's beautiful. Oh, if they break 40, 422, 82, they're going to be even longer. Yeah, I'm not that much on spy. Uh, 3.72. Yeah, Lucky Martin. Holy shit. Uh, 51%. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. That's insane. That's a beautiful play. Look at that. Straight up. Broke through that four hour pivot coming up through daily. I mean, it could come through daily a day if it wants. CO4, it could see 402 if it wants. Yes, sir. Hey, Jerry, I'm going to try Tilray, almost like a cradle move around this level. Yeah. Just going to test out the theory, see how it works out. Oh, nice. Yeah. So it held base, made a higher low. Let's see. It's curling up on a weekly, 2 2 monthly. Tilray's got room to $65. Um, the daily and the, and the Four hours are kind of rough. So well, I'm just trying to, to, try to see if it gets back to at least 20 bucks from here. It could, yeah. Yeah, good. It's got range too. Yeah. So your stock would be at 1880. Yeah, I actually went to 1890 just to be on the same side. Yeah. It based out because it, it hit bottom a few times on the uh, 15 minutes. And I was like, you know what? Nothing really lose here now. Lockheed Martin. I can't believe that. I used to keep this in my charts all the time. My stuff don't break it. Uh, it wasn't performing or, or something happened where I needed more room. So I changed it up for something else. Okay. MFT is running. I don't know what the hell that is. Microsoft. Microsoft's kind of chopping. It is making higher and higher still. Very nice. Yeah, Rocky more. I can't believe it. Still going. Fifty-two percent. Fifty-two point three. Well, Rocky Martin is like the fence. So. I'm back to there. All right, getting ready for Tesla. I still want it to break 591.17, and that's that candle here. I just set certain points, but I'll take it. Jerry, NOCs fall on uh, LMT, NOC. Let's see. Oh, nice. 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 Must be some infrastructure news or something going on. Yeah, there's something. Man, ES and NQ fixing to break. NQ inside 30, should I pop up? Or slash NQ. QQQ, same thing, though. SMH inside trying to break. NVIDIA is trying to go again. Gosh. Rocky Martin. Rocky Martin, what you doing? Adobe. Adobe's trying to break. It's got some resistance right here, but if it breaks, she go. Just from the flag. Like a more highs or higher lows. Now you buy next week. Uh, man, man, I was that Tesla just. So there's a reversal on the thirty two one two down, inside sixty still. 
I really want to see what Lance Hardy brings. Nice clean movement, though. I can tell you that. Nice and clean. I'm giving the video trying again. Piton is choppy. Guess it's slowly going. All right, let's look at a uh, big old pivot here. Look at a big old pivot. Oh, MDB got room. Uh, it wouldn't decide to take off here. It moved a lot. Love to see this thing bounce off the pivot here and go higher. So I'm going to put a on the base. I'm going to put one above, too. I want to know about it when it starts ticking back through. Right, so if it does touch, if it does touch here and hold, we can expect the next move to be twice the first. I'm going to set on a couple alerts. I want to know about it if it comes back up through here. So the higher time frames are looking pretty good. NQ right now, slash NQ just broke the high of the day. That should take the NASDAQ up. Flash and Q, the futures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, slash and Q and slash ES, man, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. Perfect, just perfect charts, especially on the 30. You ready to try to break again? Facebook is just ripping. I don't even know what's going on with that. I, my gosh. Oh, yeah, sure is. Gosh. I called Facebook earlier. I told you. Oh, yeah, you sure did. Oh, I stepped away from my computer. Sorry. Yeah, I didn't hear that. Okay, that's a good one. Man, there's all kinds of good calls in here. Well, first of all, you somebody, you know, a couple of y'all called in the video on that cradle trade. It worked. You know, and I'm not saying they don't work. They do, man. But y'all, everybody's, look at, we're one hell of a time. Good. It worked on Beyond as well, man. I like that critical play. Oh yeah, Beyond. And that's one thing I need to work on is, is I like the high, higher profitability, but I'm giving up some money. I'm giving up some of that move. I need to work on the cradle trade again. Big, big day. He tried to. Uh, you know what I did? Uh, um, big old, all I did is obviously we recharged. We know what we're doing, but for extra confirmation, I started using uh, slow uh, stochastics. Um, MACD and RSI, like it, it's just extra confirmation for me to see that the probability is much higher for the trend to actually reverse. Mm -hmm. So I'm still using everything based off a of strap, but I'm just using extra confirmation so I can play these cradle plays and probably get more out of the value versus waiting for the breakout itself. Yeah. It's cheaper yeah. too, right? It's cheaper when it's at the lower yeah. part because uh, most people don't even want to get involved at in that point. That's right. Part. They're like, oh shit, it's going down. Yeah. You know, I want to get in a push. I don't want to get out of my call. So then the calls are just dirt cheap. Yeah. Well, I'm looking at, I'll give you an example. I'm looking at Tillery on the 15, right? So when I look at the slow stochastics, it's curling up. RSI is super low. MACD is about to curl. Like the probabilities is so much more that mm -hmm. it's worth the risk this time because I got so much confirmation that this thing has a higher chance of actually reversing that. And they're dirt cheap. Yep. They're dirt cheap. I like that. I'm gonna try like focusing that. more on these underdog plays if you want to call well, them. I like to take I like to take on it. You know, Q's at oh, highs. Good move, two dollars. What's that? Q's at highs. Oh yeah, breaking out right now. Yeah, so Q Q Q's long right now. Broke out of that flat top. Buy same thing, making higher highs. Just slowly grinding. Q's got a clear break though. The video's trying to break one more time. It's a clean plays. They're just slow. You know, that's why some by next week expiration. So you can take full advantage of them. Uh, Yeah, AMC's coming up. So like AMC would be a cradle trade. 
you know, a little bit late, but it's there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and nothing wrong with taking them. Nothing wrong with taking credit cards. Especially if there's enough room from the, you know, from the bottom of the top. We're going to give a green can of woman on test on the 15. Look at the TP of the day inside. All righty. Adobe and BB. Adobe first. All right. Adobe's trying to break here. And two two trying to come back up. Mm -hmm. Three, one, two, four, five. See what MDB is in. MDB. MDB got a hand for me. LRCX is nice, it's spreading. It can make big moves to fly up top. That's right, the pivot. Always want to look at the higher time frames on every ticker if you can. It's two down, two up. It's in that uptrend. A hammer, doji. Uh, look here, on the four hour, it pushed up, it bounced off a pivot twice. So they tried to take it lower twice, they couldn't. So let's come back up. Next target, 673. Okay. I've got a stop at Lockheed Martin. And it's around 394.50. Intel's trying to break here. Watch. Take a look at Docu as well. Yeah, thank you. Docu's creek area, no holy shit. Docu, yeah, flat top. There's a lot of them that look just like this. Made a big move today. Look at that, to, to expand it on the base. I think someone Put said it was up. after earnings, right? They did really well or something. Yeah. See how it quickly came back up this big red candle right here on the weekly? That's why I love these big red candles. They can quickly come back through there. Big I used gap. to watch I used to watch Docu all the time and trade it a lot because when it has big spikes like this after earnings, mm -hmm. nine times out of ten, give it about three or four days and it'll drop that twenty dollars it's gained now or twenty five dollars it's gained. Three mm -hmm. or four days later it'll start just steadily unwind back down. It's crazy. I watched that a long time, like I do Roku, but I um I don't trade it much anymore because it doesn't trade a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm going to put alert. I mean, if you look at it, it came down from 260, right? And it's under yeah. 200 for the longest time. And yeah. all the bad news is baked in. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tesla, guys. Tesla can pivot machine gun up to the 15 right here. He wants to. Ready to try to come back up. Lockheed Martin, if you get stopped out. Tesla is still inside 60. Five minutes to flip. Invax is ripping um, too. I know that you like that stock, Jerry. Yeah. Okay. I'll tell you one that's got a beautiful chart. That's Myrna. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Novax looks really good. Nice, clean TTOs and fiber. Consolidation trying to come up through here. That's two. That's really a three one two. There's your move. Yeah. That two. The only reason it's a two there is because it wicked up a penny. Yeah. 
That is. Cues just keep grinding. That's a that's a thirty dollar measure move right here. So it's got room at two hundred bucks, man. Nobody's got room at two hundred dollars here. Shit, it can do it today. I want to. It comes Tesla. Gosh, everything's moving right now. Spy up. About twenty five percent on spy. Oh, my stop is so close to being hit like I'm lucky to Martin. I got a Tesla. Gosh, I don't know if I want to get in. Now, on Tesla here, we see it pulled back. There's a bunch of small red candles. Guess what? Price can quickly point through there because uh, it takes him stops out. So, you know, in the short, they got a cover. Cover, they got a sale. Sales industry. Video trying to break again. That's trying to come up. No vax. Back on the chart. No vax. Oh, ripper. You got to wait on a full back to get in it, though. I'd love to see a nice red candle one. Yeah, no vax is up too high now to enter. Um, that would be chasing it. Um, but my gosh, that thing is just ripping. Yeah. It's taking Myrna yeah. with it, or, or Myrna's taking it with it, vice versa. One or the other, but they're both feeding off one another for sure. Yeah, if you look at Myrna on the higher time frame, this thing is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. Ooh, Myrna's riding a chop right now. If it breaks out 204.44, it'll go. So, yep. you know, maybe it's lagging behind. No last. But if you look at Myrna, man, um, you see right here, this is a wedge on the monthly. It broke out. The flat top breakout making higher lows. So this pattern here on the monthly is the same pattern we see on the 5, 15, 30, 60. Same thing we see all the time. And this is exactly what we want to do when it breaks. Break out with volume. And look right here on the uh, four hour, two, one, two, continuation measure move. Almost to it. Almost to it. So this pattern here is the same thing. Right here on the five minute, doing the same thing. Flat top, it's a flat top break. It looks just like this right here. Flat and then higher highs or higher lows. So same thing here, we expect it to break the top. We're gonna load on it as it wants to do. Move back, going back slightly here. Big green candle. A lot of anybody in there. AMC? Anybody in AMC? Has it moved any much since? Oh yeah, I'm not in AMC, but it's moving. I'm watching it. I'm watching uh, Nokia for the 550 break. It's been hitting it so many times, it should rip right through it. Now, what is the ticker name for Nokia? NOK. Just watch what? out. NOK mm -hmm. also brings up a goddamn Forex thing sometimes, too, if your broker has it. Uh, okay. Yeah, NOK. Cost, that one, two, one. There's a lot of option flows that came in for next month for Nokia. Now, Costco has got a beautiful chart. And if you look on the weekly and the daily, it's in this range here, but it's fixing to break out this daily. And when it does, we'll see a nice flush on it too. So it could be set up for a swing for next week, guys. Hey, Jerry. Yeah. Um, you want to look at your buddy Google for a sec? Yeah, I, I saw it hit my, uh, hit my target a few minutes ago. You said yeah, Costco's yeah. looking for a, a swing. You said you're looking oh, for a swing. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Google's still ripping. Target. Oh, yeah, it went right through Target. Yeah. Yeah. I got to learn. Yeah. Gosh, yeah. On 30 minute, it broke through, and I was like, holy shit, this thing does not stop. <laughs> yeah, Google's not. Now, it moves slow, but man, it, you know, I was in Google earlier and I cashed out. Jerry, that's $42 in one day today. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. I caught 20%. It's right, it's like it's actually like 18.7, something like that. But um that's a lot of money. It's a lot of money on one contract. And you can make was, a ton on Google doing a late day trade. I yeah. uh last week I forgot to notify Tastyworks I was monitoring, but I had gotten in a Google put at like 3:30 for 15 bucks, and they closed me out and it ended up going up to 850. Uh yeah. Yeah, I've had TOS do it to me. At a, they did it on Zoom. Back a while back, Zoom used to run up 
um, right at four or three o'clock, between three and four o'clock. On Friday, I bought some lottos and I waited all day and I hit it. I was up quite a bit at 3.30. I heard my phone ping and it said it had sold. And I was, you know, I was up like three or 300 bucks. And, and I was pissed. But anyway, I sent them a message. They did it because they said I, in case it sold enough money, I wouldn't have enough money to cover all the shares. But it went up another 15 bucks after that. Yeah, I had it's another kind of one on Google. It was, man, I don't know how many weeks ago, maybe six weeks ago, that Friday. I think, it, yeah, it was a Friday where we sold off super hard at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. And I got in a Google put and I automatically have a bracket with a 20% stop loss and a 100% gain <clears throat> limit mm-hmm. order. And it hit in under a minute as I went to reset it to, to something like a thousand percent because I was looking for a huge move. It, it filled at a hundred percent in less than a minute. And so it was like $120 in less than a minute. And it ended up going to 1800 uh, would sure. have been the max profit on it. Damn. Just, just crazy. And I mean, I'm talking like 12 minutes in the trade. That's incredible. All right. Yeah. Cost is looking really, really good here. It's trying to break 60 pivot here. Not Are you waiting for it to break yeah, that I'll 60 take pivot? Uh-huh. Yeah, take, take it long, long or? Okay. Uh-huh. That's what I thought. Yeah. yeah. I was looking to take it. I'm going to swing it till next week too. If it yeah. breaks that. Yeah. About next yeah. expiration. Yeah. It looks yeah. really good. It's prime. It is prime. Your first order is going to be at 389. And uh, so I do take parallel trades, but I only take the parallel trades on the, um, on the higher time frames. And I usually just play them for the day. But I don't usually take them during the, middle, during the lower time frames. Get that don't. I do like catching two twos on a big push down. And at two twos, I'll take it as it comes back through, as it takes some stops. As long as they're, they're, as long as they're uh, really tightly packed, no bags. Yeah. I think Piton might be trying to reverse back up. Yeah, Piton is going to chop it, chop it. All right, so no bags is long right now. There's your pullback on it. No bags. No bags is long here, guys. Let's see what she wants to do. By next week, calls. Big measure move on 15, 36. Let's see what the measure move is on 15 here. It's in the first tournament. I think AMC needs to go. It's making higher lows on the 15th if anyone's playing it. Yeah. Okay, some chubby chat.
What you wanna do? All right, where's the money at? Where's the money? MDB. MDB is on the uh, 30 pivot and the 60 pivot. Is it going to bounce or is it going to break through? We will see. Oh. It's the sound of morning. Anyway. Yeah, so we're going to move our work right above. No way, I'm going back down. There go cost. Stop down on that. <coughs> cost. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, cost is longer right here. I'm trying to break out of that 60 pivot. Cost is cheapy. Hey, Jerry, I think your piton's actually doing a flow reverse. Is it doing this daily thing? Yep. Look at Roblox. I know somebody was talking about that one the other day, too. And it's moving today. Piton, yeah. It does that almost every day, that 2 2 reverse like that. The contract went up 18 bucks. EMU's reversing, too. Hey, is that the semiconductor or a stock? Yeah. Yeah. Pecans are weird like that. You gotta be careful with it. You gotta take profits pretty quick on pecans. The target's 104. Let's have this red cannon. You can see it. In the 60 where it does that. Tesla, you can't do anything with Tesla. Right now. It's, uh, it's just a bigger brain or range. Still stuck inside this range here. So my entry short would have been here. The base this candle, it touched it. There was a, there was a signal. It's chopping sideways right in this range right here. Right in that range. And look, it's rejecting again off a of pivot low on the 60. So they're trying to push back through there and they can't. Not yet. If that's the case, uh, this thing will probably go back down to 570. And the video breaking again. The video ain't going to stop today. And the video is nuts. Yeah, the video never stops. This is supposed to fly. Let's all talk about the machine gun. We got the LTR.
Yeah, don't touch, don't touch the Tesla yet. Yeah, it's inside that range and it's clear, black or whatever. And right now, with it bouncing off the pivot on the 60, bearish, very bearish. Yeah, be careful. We want it to break. It need, I wouldn't touch it unless it breaks 598. The long, I wouldn't touch it unless it broke 590 short. Back on the video. <clears throat> video, still going. 705, 70. So we just push up, chop sideways, push up, and chop sideways and push up. Video in a beast mode. Yeah, cost breaks that pivot sixty, man. It could keep going. No way, big doji. I do come back there. Lockheed Martin's chopping sideways. Microsoft. No stopping there either. That was Corey's car right there, boys. That thing. Pull that off. Beautiful. Sad. Facebook had a nice move there. Big major move right there. All right, so Facebook. Oh, I know that it can break 332. Oh, cool. NVIDIA. <laughs> Like that, bro. Really? Let's point up just a hair. Semiconductors, man, they're just ripping. XLS, man. XLS pushed up pretty good. It's rolling over. Facebook could be trying to TTO fiber back up. It's the inside on the 60 right now, but it's at the very, the inside border matters. Where they're at, at the very top. It's at the very top. It's all that next to that. That next between that candle. Work there. Work days inside of range. Had a good push up. Chop and saddle. It's 260. It could be measured me. Now, let's see if it works here. By doing yeah. All right. Look at uh, BIIB on the 30, 60, 15. So these two wicks there, that's a weakness. So there's some kind of resistance at 291.71. Every time it came up, it wicked right back down. The second candle is a penny low. That's your first sign that there's a problem up there. So what I'm saying is bid, we might take it short, and it can quickly come back down to 272 because of the, the candles there. Right now, shopping sideways. I'm going to send a look to 86.62. Ready for short. Just come on. Come on. Weakness. Oh, yeah. Look here. So on the daily, it picked through there. Put it right back down. Now, it could rest and then take another stab at it. 
What was the alert? What was the alert you said? What was uh, the price? 20, 2641. Okay. They go short. 292. 15 to go long. It would take a lot to get back to the top there. All right. No gas coming back up here, guys. No way. Oh. Hey Jerry, check out check out TRV uh -huh. on the sixty. Let's get ready to um, break that pivot, but I bet you it does like you said. It takes it out probably a penny or so, and then turns around, and reverses it up on that broadening formation. Um, what's it called? TRP. TRV. TRV. Okay. On the sixty, looks like it might take out that pivot, then Ooh. turn around, and reverse it right back up. Just uh, as yeah. a thought. Yeah, you know, like me. stick it out for a penny or so. Oh, that'd be a nice trade because it's strong as heck on the monthly. It's very strong. Yeah, just take yeah. out a little bit of that broadening formation on both sides and then turn around. I'm not saying it is, I'm just saying, just looking at oh, it. It definitely could, but I'm going to fiber. All right, Facebook's trying to TTO five. Facebook's trying to TTO. There's a cradle trade right there on Facebook right now. Long. Long. I just like them to break the high. But I don't want to break that high. Fucking Twitter. Novaks. I'm still long Novaks. I'm up 0.67 percent. In Costco, down two percent. We got a hand. We got a Momo hammer form on the 60-30 on Novaks. Once a boy, it's, you see right here on Novaks. It's got a huge red can that can quickly, quickly, quickly come up through there. The target 245. Move that. 3-1-2 measure move. Let's see the target on this one. 164. 178. 14 dollars. 92. United States target. There we go. Come on. Yeah, no bad. No more. About three percent more than that. 
4% Novax. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Oh, they're trying to come on up. Yeah. This is still tapping. Novax at 4.67. I've got a limit set on Novax. I want to try to catch the top of it. It's going to take a few seconds to get filled. I don't care. Jerry, did you get out of spy? Yeah, I'm at a spy. I got stopped at. Yeah, that's why I was thinking just turning on three time frames. Yeah, I had a hard time. I didn't watch it. Uh, Novax up 8%. Target 192 measure made forever. Yeah, the sector that uh, Novax is in, Jerry, IBB and LB, LABU are, are ripping. Nice. Ooh, up 8%. Come on, let's go. Let's get it, boys. Which means Myrna's going to be ripping. Myrna was a flat top breakout. I don't know if it's happened, but it's going to. Yeah, there's wedges. Now, look, if you look at the five minute here, look at the month. Boom. Same thing. Same thing. Hey, Nokia broke 550 finally. No, VIX is crawling. The VIX is crawling back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit! I got out. Nobody twenty five percent. It took me a minute to get filled, but I'm out. Caught a spike. Uh, caught an extra thirty six dollars contract. Boom, boom. All right, here's Tessa, guys. Get ready. She's trying to come down. She's trying to flush. Jerry, you look at that. Uh, Spy tick cumulative, it's it, it's dropping. Cum Ooh, dang, 331. Or Nemo's at 71. Cumulative's way down. The video's slowly climbing. Novax, um, I made pretty good on that. It took so long to get filled. I want to look at the open interest on it. Nobody's to kind of spread it too. Uh, that's why I was able to catch such a big ass bag. But let's get it anyway. Uh, there's, there's enough volume on there. Should have got filled a lot quicker than I did. I guess I should have set my limit too high. Huh? Hmm. I'm glad, look at that. I'm glad I got it when I did. Gosh, it's chopping sideways. Yeah. She damn rejected off that sixty. Let's see what the gold brings me. Hmm. 
<laughs> NVIDIA, I can't believe that, man. I can't believe NVIDIA. I can't believe it. Hey, Jerry, is a good way to know if the market is chopping sideways is if the SPY is an inside bar on the hour? Um, it could be an indicator. Yeah, absolutely. But if you're looking, what I do is, you know, I've got a, these stocks up and they're kind of different aspects of the market. You know, I got tech and some and bio and, and stuff like that. So when you're looking at them, if they're all, if they're all chopping sideways, it gives you a good idea uh, the market, what it's doing. Because sometimes there's going to be more money and well, you know, money rolls over into different sectors. Like right now, it's in semiconductors and stuff, and then some bio. But uh, to know that what sector you want to you want to look at the sectors, but you can tell individually what they're doing just by looking at the charts, really. But yeah, spy being inside does indicate chop for sure, without a doubt. So so spy QQQ. Anytime you see that, if you're going to be trading, what you want to do is have uh, at least spy up and VIX always. It tells you the broader market. Like say, if nothing else, have VIX up, right? Because VIX is like a fear index. So if VIX starts, if you see VIX start having a big green candle come up, then you know that if you're long in something that you want to pull your tight, your stops up pretty tight. But so I got spy and QQQ up all the time. I'm mostly watching VIX all the time. I look for any kind of indication that there's going to be a uh, some kind of flash crash, liquidity break, or something like that. Another thing that they've been doing here lately with VIX is I haven't seen the last few days, but usually they will run VIX up real fast and it brings everything else down with it. Right? And then <clears throat> 20, 30 minutes later, VIX will shoot right back down. The market goes back up. So they're just shaking out with the cans. But today, VIX is at the bottom. And it's chopping right at the bottom of that 60 minute candle, which is, you know, that's a good sign. It is coming up slightly, and that's why we see spy chopping too. But yeah, you always want to keep an eye on spy. You always want to have a spy chart and a VIX chart up all the time. Yeah. So it's just, yeah. So, in, so it's like Rob when he says, uh, the gorilla rings the triangle on the inside, six, or the inside 60 on QQQ or spy is what he's talking about. Just chop. It's a good indicator. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. But also, there's a thing called natural buyers and natural sellers. So, see the overall market's selling off, and then you see a couple of tickers that that are just ripping. There's a those are natural buyers in there. And when the market does turn around, it's probably going to be the strongest stocks in the entire market. And the same thing is if the market's you know ticking up, and then you have a couple of tickers that are pushing down, it's natural buyers in there. So you can seek those out. They're going to be the strongest ones when the market does recover. So even though the market's chopping, not everything's going to chop, but it's just a good indication of what's going to happen. Hello, hello. And NVDA, kind of choppy, but it's been moving consistently up all day. Lulu, you look at Lulu here uh, on the 60, big mother bar. It opened up inside right where, right smack dab in the middle. So when, when I'm looking at something, I don't care to trade inside a, a mother bar, but I want that inside to be in the top 25%, the bottom 25%. And if I'm going to take it back up, I don't care to play back through the range here, but I want to, I want to be in the top 25 to 30%. Or the, you know, from the base, want to be at least 25, 30 percent from the base to take it back through range. And really, uh, if you was to mark the top and the bottom of this mother bar here, that's range. That's so everything. So everything inside this is inside. So everything that's inside here is inside. Now we'll trade that range as long as there's a clear direction. So right now, in you know, it's it's pushing up. But when the when the inside bar opens up smack in the middle, man, it could go either way. So, so to see if this is going to go higher, we want to look at the five minute to make sure that price is pushing up. We want to see at least 
one to pull back if not two. So the target, of course, would be the top of this big candle here. And price can quickly push up through there because of uh, all the stops it makes. So a big red candle, green candle, is going to have a bunch of you know smaller red candles. And the tighter that they're stacked, the better. Because there's a lot more stops that we're set. We know they're setting the stops. We're setting at the ties. Those things. But I like the inside bar to open near the top. You know, especially for bullish. That's what I'm trading, you know, individual candles and stuff. But the first thing in the morning, I'm looking for that inside to open right at the top. Right at the top. So let's look at um let me move this. Let's look at Lockheed Martin right now. Lockheed Martin. And 60. See where the inside bar is opened at? Right near the top. Now, this wick right here is concerning because there was some kind of invisible barrier there. All right? So, when you see a wick somewhere like that, you say, you can just think to yourself, there's something that caused this to stop right? that we can't see it we know there's something there because when price came there it rejected right? rejected it pulled back down now it's the inside this could be the rest because it made a massive massive move really that's one candle now it's inside so it's a two one we want to see another two up it can always reverse though. There's always a possibility it comes back down and retest before going higher. But you want to see that inside open the top. Now, just like on individual candles, I'm trading the morning, I want to see this two, one, two. I want it to break the high. If you're if you're trading strictly by the strap rules, you're going to take it when it crosses the one, with your target being this high here. All right, I like playing it safer and taking it when it clears. Top. I like it when it, when it crosses the high here. Now, here's another thing, too individual candles here on any time frame. This is something they don't teach you. I'll teach you that. Inside, that's inside there. This candle starts off inside. As soon as it comes up, so same in the same time frame, this is 60, it can be a five minute. In the same five minutes, this can come up and break. As soon as it breaks that high there, you can take it. So it can becomes a one, two. So it's a two, one, two with two candles. All right, as soon as it crosses this high, it's your signal to go in. Because look, it had its wrist all in one, all in one candle. Two, one, two. And it, what's even better is the candle. Um, which down becomes a hammer inside the this bar here. Of course, if I'm doing that in the first five minutes, I don't want to see any wicks there. I want a solid, I want a solid green candle. I want it to be solid with hardly zero to any wicks. And then it's going to open. Then the inside candle is going to open here, not even the top. And then as it comes down. It'll be red. Right. And as it comes back up, it becomes just a wick like this. And as soon as it crosses this high here, as soon as it crosses there, it turns green. You take it as soon as it goes from red to green, or you take it as soon as it crosses the high here. And it'll be green as soon as it crosses. So now you got a two, one, two, right there. You hit it. Happens all the time on five minutes. All the time. So you can take a two, one, two, and then two bars. Very powerful. And then it's that first two. I want to see a big green two. So in the first five minutes, if I see a big, huge green two with little to no wicks, I prefer no wicks at all. And it goes inside. I expect that same move. Yeah. 
This week is passing on the five minute rounds. They happen all the time. So does it want to be done trading by 10 o'clock? It's, it's doable. Let me get one out of the way. Okay, so here we go. Lockheed Martin. That's nice. Right here. All right. It'd be nice if this was solid green, but look, as soon as it came, this next part came kind of opened up. It went inside with that width there, so it was red. As soon as it came back across and across this top here, you could hit it. Mm -hmm. And there's your measured move here. You just when I'm measuring moves, I'm just measuring the body. And you get it instantly. Uh, let's look for another one. NVIDIA. All right, well, here's a TTO right here on the video in five minutes. All right, push up, big green candle, pulls back, comes up. As soon as it crosses here, you hit it. It's the measure move candle. It made it. I guarantee it made it to the tick. Clear. Let's measure. I measure the body. I'm conservative in the measurement. Uh, when do you worry about exhaustion risk? or all time highs? Um, well, what I wanna do is, I wanna look at the daily and the four hour. Um, I've gotta say, you know, if I see two or three solid green candles, I'm gonna be worried after the second day. What I wanna see is, uh, I don't care to see a bunch of green candles, as long as there's some hammers in the mix. You know what I mean? Because the hammer, that tail was the risk for the next leg up. We saw that with, we actually saw it with NVIDIA yesterday. Uh, let's look at NVIDIA from yesterday. Yeah, right here. So say this is a say this is a daily chart here. All right. And the only thing that separates these charts is time and speed. So if the time wasn't there, you wouldn't know if this is a month, a year, or five or tick chart or whatever, it doesn't matter. So if I've seen a bunch of green candles with solid bodies like this or like this, they're stacked up like this, I'd be scared. But as this thing comes up, it pulls back here, it comes back. This is a, this is a rest here, okay? Because it opened up inside. It pushed up, here's a rest. So you want to see these, when they're pushing up like that, body's ripping. You got to have a risk. It's it's healthy for them. You don't want something that's just straight up because there's definitely exhaustion risk. It pushes up, it rests again, pushes up, it rests again. Then it made a higher high, and then there's then it's made a lower high. Right? So then it pulls back. But anyway, you want to see you want to see these wicks on the base of them. Also, um, I want to see if I don't see wicks, I want to see pullbacks. So say we pushed up two or three green days, and there's no red candles and there's no pullback, then, you know, I'm going to be super scared to even get in it. I might scalp it, but there's no way I'm going to hold it for a long period of time. Now, say, um, say it's pushed up and all of a sudden we look at it and it had a good run and all of a sudden we're getting a couple of red candles. So what I'll do is I'll mark the top of these candles here. All right. They don't work. So when price comes back up there, I, I want to know about it. Because I'll take it now. I'll take these credit trades on the higher time frames any day. But what I want to do is look at the four hour. I don't want to guess this is the bottom. So what I do is I go to the four hour. I want to see at least a push up, a pull back, and the next leg up. And and I prefer two. All right, that's confirmation that yeah we've hit a bottom. We're on our way back up. So you want to make sure you never want to guess the bottom. You always want to see. And that's one reason I don't, I'm. I'm not confident taking the, the five minutes just yet because I guess I got the one minute look for confirmation, but I'm just like, I'm statistical. I want, uh, there's a greater, there's a greater chance of success when it breaks the high. And there's nothing wrong with taking the bottoms at all. They work. But 
solid green candles and they've been moving three or four days, exhaustion risk. So, you know, be very wary of it. Yeah. Hey, Jerry. I don't, I don't yep. Hey, Jerry. Yes, sir. Yo, look at my best friend, S.E. Uh, I guess he's ripping the day. Honestly, this thing, when it moves, it moves, man. I love it. Oh, dang. Boy, last week it moved a bunch. <laughs> it did it again. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm going to throw that on my chart right now. That bib that you were talking about it just hit uh, <clears throat> that target. Oh, yeah. That low I target. That. So it's... B, I, I, B. I saw a work come up there. What's it doing? Did it bounce? Falling. No, it's falling. Oh, nice. Yeah. So bib. It's going to be short here. And first target's going to be two, I get up there, 283.88. So look here, it rejected off the top. We can see it right here on the on the five minute. I'll pull up SE in a second. But the wicks always tell you the story. All right. It wicked out at this level and then it made lower, lower highs each time. So each time it rejected three times around 15, but right here. Price came up, it started chopping sideways, and it's breaking. So, so it's a two, one, two. Reverse it back down. You want to see a clear break. You want to see a clear break on the, on the five minute. So, that break was the base of that candle there. Right. Hey, yeah. SE broke S uh, two sixty. So that means it's setting two sixty two now. Yeah. This mofo is going to make my Friday. This is a beast. Woo. So SC's first target 262. Yep. And 260, If anybody looks at patterns, if you see uh, Jerry's uh, 15 minute, it's called a scallop. It just does kind of like a little big loop and it just rips up on the 15 oh, minute. Yeah. 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 yeah, they call it a scallop. Okay. It's basically settling down after a push and ready to rip to the next leg. Yeah. It's just um, what what I call them is just a retest. So price comes up, bounces off pivot, goes. Yeah. And that pattern uh, I talk about a lot, but that pattern happens in all time frames. And another thing that's important about this pattern is this the first move, the second move is always twice the first. So if this move was five dollars, this next move is five dollars. Yeah, that killer move, any kind of retest. And really, also, that's just a TTO. Boom. Yeah, I love the retest. Jerry, you have to add this uh, ticker to your charts. This thing doesn't yeah. move. It doesn't tell us all the time, but it doesn't move. And it right now. The contracts were at 25 cents. Some people got them at nine, and they're at 70 cents now. Are they that cheap? Yeah. Because it was down since yesterday. Oh, shit. Fucking went to nine cents and someone sold them at 70. I sold them at 50. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah, definitely going to add it. Another one that used to be hot was uh, SQ. Oh, Square? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it used to be somebody too. Doing good today. It's up four bucks. Mm -hmm. But around March, it pushed up nice and it's just chopping. First, it didn't look that good today. This is chopping sideways again. This is a choppy chop mess. Monty Martin rolling over. Nvidia is chopping sideways. So we're just getting chopped. Yeah, AMC, it's not doable today. It's not doable. And actually, yeah, but and, and okay, Nokia is breaking some big uh, breaks. 50, then it broke the 54. That's pretty strong today. Oh, yeah. Dying, it sure did. Six cents. Yeah, and those are cheap. Those are dirt cheap. Oh, yeah. So, oh, it's 17,000. That's 34,000 open air on uh, the 550 strikes. I think Nokia that has big potential. 145,000. Uh, it's more than there's a mobile hammer. It's got room to 568 right now. That'd be a pretty good move for Nokia. Mm -hmm. And then 
overall price is 979. It's on its way. On the daily, uh, the next big candle you see, uh, I think you're right. It's holy shit, yeah, it is nine something. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. It's on its way. If this thing goes, it goes. And those contracts are like 15, 20 cents if you got them in from next week's. Yeah, hey, you could lock them. I mean, you can get them. You can get them at five dollars. Oh yeah, and the you volume is still pretty them. good. Yeah, well, imagine if you bought a bunch at at six fifty and it ran up to nine. Dude, you'd be you'd be set. You'd be freaking set. I bought next week's because I feel like it's gonna get pumped by next week. So, y'all talking about Nokia? You buy some Nokia calls? Yeah, uh, June eleventh, five fifty calls, uh, twenty one cents. They're twenty four. All right, I'm gonna buy me a few of them too. This is like my lotto play, just because it's getting pumped. Like I feel like it, it has, and it has a huge like reward if if it happens, right? With not a big risk. <clears throat> the other two, there's a uh, real estate ones. They're smaller stocks though, but they're they got big potentials. One is A H T. Mm -hmm. And uh, second one was PEI. I just been watching all the flow getting into these two. Uh, AHT was at like two something, and it's almost near six bucks. Uh, so something is going on with that one. Bad dude's been making moves today. Yeah, I've been trading AHT for quite a while. Uh, I'm out now. I missed this last run, but uh, they just got sold off so hard because of COVID. It's a uh, hospitality. They uh, have high end hotels. Okay. And so yeah. it got crushed. They had to do a reverse split and then it's just way, way oversold. So it still has a lot of upside. I don't know exactly how long. Um, it's something where you could also do uh, like far uh, time frame, like September, October leaps. debit spreads. Oh, debits. Oh yeah. Leaps. Okay. You know, and just kind of let it, yeah, you could do leaps, but I mean, I went lower risk and that's what I had closed out on the last spike. I had a bunch of uh, like, maybe it, it must've been, I'm trying to remember now five, seven fifty debit spreads that I got for 10 cents each, something like that and closed Amazing. them out at 50 or 60 on the last spike. So beautiful. Yeah. But I've it been should have it. more upside at yeah. some point. I don't know when. Well, it did a big drop yesterday, which is a huge time to buy in. And it's already right. up so much and the volume is, is still solid. Right. And then I picked up on the other one, uh, Pennsylvania real estate, because they're both in the same area. Oh, yeah. Uh, it, it was down. It had a gap to fill, which is fine. But uh, I still see huge potential in this one, too. And then the Twitter people started talking about it. That's when I knew there's more interest in it. Well, freaking Twitter's all talking about it. Right. The same thing with BBIG, right? Like, uh, I think the shorting was holding it down and then it just ripped today. Right. Doc, you trying to break here. Doc, you. Doc, you. Where are you going? Doc is breaking. Um, just two, 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 but that's really a two, one, two there. Not much volume to only thing, and it's lunch. So I'm gonna probably buy some uh, spy puts for next week. Apple, not... Apple's going right now. It just broke the five pivot and the sixty finally. Oh, Google's still going. Google's moved thirty-seven dollars. Oh yeah, Apple's killing it right now. Shit. Oh yeah, Apple's breaking right this second. 
it, it's been messing around with that 60 pivot for a while. Now it's finally going through. You could get a PMG going up. Yeah. Well, imagine if it came up on the uh, on the weekly. You know, I don't understand why it's been doing that, frankly. Because Apple's strong. You know? It's moving now on the you know lower time frames. Yeah. On the day on the uh, on the daily, it made a higher high or higher low. Yeah. Where would you like to see Apple come up to get in it? I'm looking at the video. Um, let's see. Well, Apple's long right this second. Uh, target on is going to be 126, 38. Yeah, Apple's long right this second. You said 126, 38? <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, target 126, 38. Yeah. And this pivot machine gun on a four hour and a day. I mean, if it wants to, it can come up to 128. There's uh, the volume increase on which is a really good sign. Yeah, uh, it's a really good sign. Yes, sir. Apple went long. Vix is trying to come back down with a shooter. 60. Plus we're on over. Goss has rejected off that pivot. Uh, man, it's had a pretty good run. It could just be a pullback from the next side up. Yeah, good job, Leslie. Yeah, Google's nice. Gary, are you seeing much uh, flow into Apple right now on the options? Um, give me a minute, buddy. I'll check right now. <laughs> I was looking at Ride. Ride was uh, I was heading for a reversal, and a lot of flow came in. If you want to check that ticker in the meantime. Ride, R-R-I-D-E. -R yes, sir. Thank you. All right, OT. Pardon? Is that what you said? No, ride. R I D E. Oh, okay. Sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. <clears throat> Let's see what's going on in Apple. Actually, you got tons of puts coming in on Apple. Strike 128. They could be hedging. Yeah. But like I'm looking at the majorities overall because they show you like overall percentages of millions and mm -hmm. puts are out doing calls. Mm -hmm. A lot of those guys that play futures, like I, I've been on their discords and uh, Twitter. A lot of them are basically saying that we're heading for a, a proper downside. We need one, apparently, according to their charts. Yeah. Well, because if you look at buy on the daily, it's in a range. Yeah. But it's always been on this. Like, I looked at the, the linear parts. I, I add that into my charts, and it's just been hovering up, 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 right? Which you say, well, always as well. But up, up, up isn't always healthy as well. Yeah. It needs a risk. That drawback is going to hurt then if it goes that high. If it pulls back, we're going to write it down. You know, a good one to get, Jerry, is towards the end of the month, is CSX. 
you know, just hold on it. They're going to do a three to one stock splits, one of the rails and, and uh, IYT has been strong. Buy it toward the end of month. Say it again. Buy it toward the end of this month here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they're they're going to think the 18th, they're splitting three for one. And usually those rails mm -hmm. run like crazy. So this is a time to get in right before that split goes. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's good. pretty good on the month. I wish I could send you a picture, Corey, but there's a lot of call selling going on, which is good too. I don't know how to send you a picture from here. And the video breaks below 799. Short. Right now, hey, Corey, Corey, lots of like sweeps come in and call buys, call sells for Apple. Yeah. Yeah, I think I, I think that thing's gonna finally it, it sat on, it's rusted for quite a while. Look at that four hour. Just been sitting in a range for I'm trying to see if I can send you a, trying to send you a picture so you can kind of get an idea. I'm doing all the uh, the high sweeps just so you can see like the, the okay. amount of premiums coming in. Uh, is anybody gonna get in, Apple? Or is anybody yeah, in, in it? Yeah, you yeah, in I it? got next I got yeah. next week one twenty five. But the volume's coming in. Yeah. Yeah, same here. Apple, I'm an Apple. Same thing as you, Corey. That's the thing. When you're looking, especially around lunchtime, when you see volume increase on a pivot break, that's your sign right there. But it's been struggling with that 60-minute that pivot break for a while. Finally mm -hmm. got through it. Yes, sir. For three days almost. So you, you, you got a lot of pivots you know or candle pivots to take on the way up there's not much yeah. there's not much to stop it up to 128.32 or under that's right yeah and even on the weekly you look at the weekly chart man there's a bunch of uh stops stacked really tight now on netflix here same thing um it could be a retest here so i'm going to put an alert at 520 in case it retests here and push back up, I want to take it back to the top. And we're going to do the same thing in NVIDIA. NVIDIA is in a range right now, but it's bouncing off a pivot in an old pivot high here. That pivot high is at 702.20, bouncing right this second. So it looks like. The one thing you always got going for Apple is they got their. The, the one company buying their stock back, I think it was 90 billion this quarter they're going to buy back. Corey, you got one uh, call block, strike 110, 31 mil spent on it today. Yeah. But at the uh, expiries for next month, that's a huge fucking bid, man. They're just getting them. They're prepping themselves for the next earnings coming out at the end of July. Well, there's a lot of hedging going on because the top 10, it's the first ones to call. The next eight are all put buys. So it's yeah. a huge hedging going on, too. I'm trying to figure out how to send you this. I, I press print screen, but that doesn't do shit either. I don't worry about it. I appreciate it. <clears throat> you gave me enough thoughts. Thank you. Hey, y'all have a good day I'm, or a good weekend. I'm going to get out of here. Right, you buddy. take care of there in, in Virginia. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My dad's having an 80. I'm, we having him 80th birthday party tomorrow, so I got to get ready nice. for you. Well, happy we birthday to your dad. Okay. okay see y'all Monday. Yes, take sir. care, buddy. See ya. Novak's trying again. Zoom's slowly pushing up here, guys. Trying to break his 60 pivot. Yeah. <clears throat> You gotta be careful though, it could wake up pour right back down like a uh, cost. You know, Jerry on that uh, 60 minute pivot did exactly like you said, pushed it up, brought it back down, pushed it up, brought it back down and finally broke it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Huh? It doesn't... Yeah, so then, then the strength came in. Everybody's paying attention to it. I like when it does that. There's docu. 
because you know if, if enough people use these things it's relevant your zoom's breaking doc you still pushing here slowly it's just slowly. that's why you got to buy next week expiration on these things a lot of flow came in for nvidia put buys and some put sellings too well they better be careful because um it can look down a little bit below this pivot here and push right back there and come right back up. I don't know if I'd buy puts. I don't. I don't think I would. I'm scared of the Nvidia. I wouldn't mess with it. It's yeah. way too strong. <laughs> yeah. So I've got a broader formation drew here. I think it's going to look down below this pivot here. Yeah. To trap bears and then come right back up. So I think it's going to happen. Well, I every time something. Right back up. Every time something breaks, it does a pullback, right? So even if they're banking off two dollars of move but when you're spending 12 million you're making big bucks on a two dollar oh, down move absolutely and every time it breaks a pivot or a high it always pulls back right so that's what they're probably trying to do mm -hmm. because i yeah. wouldn't fight any video no way well when they get that much money i mean they could you know a 50 cent move make them a kill them 100 percent, yeah that's the way i look at it right sometimes we don't look at it that way because we don't have that much money but when you're buying that much, even two dollars down is huge upside. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Doc, you're nice. Yeah. Yeah, Doc, you lock your profits in for sure. Especially if you have a newer account. Don't give anything back. Novak's still pushing here. Yeah. Stop, finally broke, retest, gone. You know? So you were talking, somebody was talking about that swan trade or something like that. It's just a push up, retest, gone. You know, see, I don't know what that is. I'm just going to learn on it. I'm sure I marked it for something. Can't fool see. You know, see, trying to break. Yeah, push up. Consolidation breaking the weekly. I'd love to see it break there. Daily. All right, check out Goog. And look, Goog can come back down right here on the 3060 and retest and then bounce back up. Goog's got a nice, nice higher time frame chart. Probably one of the best ones. <clears throat> Yeah, so if you look at the monthly, there's a two, one, two, it's breaking out right now. Two, one, two, breaking all time highs. It's a flat top breakout. So, right there. So, if you had the money for calls on goods and then the swing, of course, it's pulling back now. It needs a retest here. And if it retests, the next move will be twice this one. So, $12. So, we can expect a 24 to 65 target. 66. So I'm going to mark the base. I want to know about it if it comes to touch it. And I'm going to mark right above it here, 2448. Because I want to know when it pushes back up. Because this thing's not going to die anytime soon. Badu's been making moves today. The spread is so moves. wide on Google. Do you just do market? Yeah, yeah. It's best since it moves so slowly. Try to get in a limit. Just set a target because it moves so slow. I mean, it can move about two dollars in a second. So yeah, try to limit in if you can on on uh, on good, especially the higher price ones, because we're not in a hurry to get in on it. I wouldn't get in it right this second. You want to see some kind of push back up on it. But yeah, on the retest, as it comes back up, and you can get in it. 
Yeah. Because they are spreading. They're spreading. When it moves, though, if you watch it, when it starts to move, this spread tightens way up. I mean, it'll tighten up. It'll be 30 cents spread. So if you're watching it really good, you can literally make money off that spread. You set your price, and then if it bumps up a little bit, so that makes $100 in there. Two seconds. There's so many different ways to play this market. It's incredible. It's incredible. Doc, you still working here? Big old major move. That's $10 there. Can we go? Alex still working. Oh, Amazon. Here we go. Flat top breakout. Higher lows. Pushing out the top here. Come up some big old red candle. Look at that. Is that big red candle there? That's money. That's a $16 move right here on Amazon. I want to see a clear break. I'd like to see volume increase a little bit. This will be long. Overall trend looks like crap. The higher time frame looks like garbage. Let's see play it though. It made a higher low here. There's a starter at 2 2. So, on something like this, you can scalp it. It's not printable. It's going to break. Amazon's long got this second right now. Let's see if we can't scalp the shit out of it. I'm not going to be in a very long target 32 35. You look right here on the 30, gaps up, pulls back, push up, pulls back, gone. Breaks that TTO right there. That TTO lines up with this pivot. Yep, it can move really quick. Okay. Big old green candle. Gap up, pull back, pull back. Target here. There's a bunch of green candles stacked up here. And if you pulled up the volume profile chart, you would see that there's a void there. There's no resistance in this area here. Stops at 32.17. That's ready. Sometimes you gotta give it a bit. You make time. Of course, your stop don't have to be that tight or that large. But, you know, on some of these tickers, uh, especially the 15 hour ticker, you gotta give it some room. Up 8% Amazon. And that's pretty good. Pretty damn good, if you ask me. Let's see what she did. Wow. Amazon. Oh, give me my damn money, girl. 
surface heat. Thirteen percent. Take it to the Let's give it some room. Let's see if we can get a week's payday right here. It's Fifteen dollars. Let's see what. So I'll set it break even. Let's see what happens. Lockheed Martin is up inside and making more high and higher wheels. Move stuff. Baidu. Baidu can puke right here pretty quick, too. I get stuff at Amazon. Sometimes I'm up on the day, I'll give them more room just to kind of say. I catch some big news. I'm still on it. Still on Amazon. See what she do. Down 40 bucks on Amazon. I'm down $35 in fast cow. I think it might be trying to TTL on the 60. Look, I got a big push this morning. Every time for me to sell the fullback. Down forty two fifty Amazon. Jerry, if you look at that XRT, it's it's sitting really at the bottom of the of the range. And that's what Costco and Amazon are on. XRT? The XRT. Oh yeah. That's around that base, ain't it? Yeah, so so it's just hanging down at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why it's not moving that hot. Yeah. Well, it's wedging now. Uh, coming up through there, but it's sitting right. I mean, it's a flat line here. Not saying it can't go. I'm just saying on the 30 minutes, just sit down at the lower part of the range. Yeah. Yeah. Right there, it's sitting down the wall. But you put those two bars together on that 30, it's got a big mother bar, it's just sort of got to work its way through. Yes, it's got a long way to go. Yeah, if it goes through, it can rip through if it's got some energy.
What can I do? No shoes on underwear. XLE just broke to VWAP. It's getting some energy going back up to that range. What is XLE? Uh, it's all the, en the energy stocks. Let's take a look. Maybe, maybe what they're going to do is re reverse take all the ones that suck today and take them up in the afternoon. Watch those. Ooh, nice. Ooh, beautiful two two. We're sorry, at fifty five and fifty five ninety eight. No way, slowly grinding. Tesla ain't doing nothing. Actually, he does look good. There's a TTO break through that or the weekly pivot. We take back on two one. Hmm. It's making higher highs, higher lows consistently. Hmm. Two inside, inside, inside sixty. Very interesting. We should need to break one fifty seven. It's just kind of chopping, guys. The video chopping. Zoom still doing good. Docky slow grinding up still, too. You look at the uh... GS, once it breaks that uh, five minute pivot, you might get a couple bucks out of it. Oh, sit, okay. sit right on it, GS. No one's actually got a really nice chart. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And it's got a, a nice three it's going through on the 30 minute. Yeah, no one's actually is beautiful. Which out there with Google. Beautiful. And then you look exactly where it's at. So it's green on the month. The week just came out of a TTO here. That was swing the last week. I didn't take it, but it was definitely swing. And then right here on the four hour, you get your push down. Here's your pullback right here on that three. Now it's coming back to the range. This is a hell of a swing right here. Then you're starting to get XL up to come off the bottom. So it gets some momentum running with the same sector. Yeah, well, my stash popping through right this second. 39, 30, 30, 90, 30, 90, 30. Not much volume, but it's popping. 3, 2. The auto desk is big candle popping right at the top. It's kind of flat one in there. Put on stops out. You know I'm saying all the time that these things can, when these stops are really tight, they could take them all out one day. It's possible. Two one two reversal four hour. It's two down, two up daily. Making higher lows in the weekly. If you see right here on Autodesk on the thirty, it pushed through that thirty pivot and it's sitting right on top of it. So one top. That's a retest. Oh, they're trying to take it back down. So it remains strong there. We see our push up next week. So doing a niche right now. Maybe the market start going. Uh fix us back to the low of the day. Mm, that'd be nice.
you know, that pivot study you have, it's really awesome. Look at Intel on that 30 minute, look how many, had one, two, three, four, five times trying to get through that 30 minute pivot. It just, so you can really see that resistance. Yeah, it definitely marks, it definitely is marking. Uh, INTC. Oh. oh yeah, sure, yeah. And every time it came up here, it rejected. So A lot of if it ever breaks through there, well, right now it could possibly go back through range. Who knows? Yep. What's the higher time frame clock? The bounce. Hey Jerry, when when it breaks through there for Intel, would you wait for confirmation, uh, or or would you wait for a uh, uh, pullback or a retest of that before you get in, or you would just take it as soon as it crosses that thirty? Oh minute? yeah. Yeah, and then um, what I do too is look at the uh, the four hour. There's a pivot. It's trying to break through this pivot here on the four hour too. It's touched it multiple times. So really, I would probably wait. I'd rather take it on the break of this four hour at yeah, fifty eight dollars. But yeah, as soon as it crosses there, I'm taking it. Yeah, I would take it instantly. Now after one, well after eleven thirty, these breaks fail about eighty percent of the time. So if you're going to take it after lunch. You want to see volume rolling up. You want to see it curling higher. So after lunch, now I'm going to look at the uh, volume. I'm going to give it more room. So in the more time, I would take it as soon as it crosses, like instantly. I'd mark it in and get in. So after lunch, I'm going to give it, you know, on this ticker here, maybe 10 cents. On a $500 ticker, I might give it 30 cents. Because what happens is they'll, they'll pull it up trap you it's like a bull trap see how they wicked up here so everybody went long on this break here would have got stopped down they're trapping so to get in this thing like if, you want, if i didn't get in it i would make it sure that i was above at least this pivot here and probably 10 cents more and it's safer to wait until it breaks the four hour so just because you break it you got major resistance at 58 dollars because every time it came to this range here, it bounced. Every single time it bounced. Look, look at it though, Jerry, on that four hour. Once you clear it, you got just a little bit of left and then you got a big gap up there. That thing could yeah. go pretty quick once you clear it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So if it cleared this pivot on the four hour, man, yeah, I'd, I'd go in for sure. With no hesitation. What sort of volume increase would you be looking for on that candle uh, if it's after, you know, it's, if it's in the afternoon? Yeah, so um, I, there's no set number, but what you, the only thing I'm looking for is, is um, I want to see, I want to see the volume. Can you see on this chart here? I want to see yeah. the volume curl. I don't care what, it, I don't care the numbers. I don't care anything about these. Oh, I see. Okay, I see. I just want to see a curl. Like if volume's decreasing, and the price jumps past this pivot here, that's a sign that it could just be a manipulation. It could just be a trap. They call it a bull trap. And the same thing happens when you're going short. It can wick down and all of a sudden pull right back down or pull right back up. Stop. They're just stopping you out. And it happens a lot after lunch. And you're yeah. looking for the curl to take place on a lower time frame chart from a, uh, a volume perspective. If you were trading, like, say, the four hour, you'd be looking at the 15 to see that curl? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I don't care. You know, I just keep on the 15, but any kind of curl. I like the 15 because it gives me a pretty good average. Yeah, so you just want to see volume increasing. So um, what we see right now, volume's increasing, but the volume's down. So you want to look at the time, too. So it's 12.55, we've got about five minutes for the next candle. Um, and I'm thinking to myself, you know, in five minutes, are we going to have enough volume that it's going to creep past this? So yeah. say volume's increasing and um, the candle just flip, you know, then I can assume that it can it can definitely make a higher high come up through there. But it, we see it curling. So there's people taking interest at this level. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. You're welcome.
Jappy chap chap. Point of control. Point of control is where, where most shares are bought. So uh, if you look at my five minute chart, this pink line here, purple here, that's where most shares are bought and set up for the day. And I like it because it can act as support and resistance. That's where people, that's where buyers sell are they're the happiest fans for this ticker at the moment. If anybody's looking for a cheap play is MRO, just broke the five minute pivot. It's an energy stock, energy's going. And also the dollar is down. And when the dollar's down, uh, commodities are up. Nice, yeah, beautiful play. This one you could swing. Corey, where can I buy one of those crystal balls that you look into and find all these things? I just, I just, I spent a lot of time looking at the sectors. You know, when, when she, it's easy. I just sit there and I, I have a sector list and I look at all the sectors and the ones that are moving. Then I go into that, the, the stocks underneath those sectors and then I start looking at them. To just have a watch list for every sector. Daryl does it, man. Daryl's the best. Look at all his comments he has. You they should have a, a top down. Yeah, yeah. So, so you, you, you know, um, you, you know, I have a list of all the sectors. You know, it's like, you know, I mean, when I say this, I'm not there bragging. Trust me, Rob's a thousand times better than I am. You know, but like Rob says, it, it takes him, you know, 30 minutes to figure out what the hell's going on. I don't need 30 minutes. I need five minutes. I got all the mm -hmm. sectors on a 30 minute chart. All right. And I can look through, see what's moving. And then when I go into that sector that's moving like XLE, I'll rip it apart. And I see the stocks like OIH, OIH and XOP. Then I go in there and drill those down, find out what's looking. And I find a good stock that looks good. So, so you know, you know, you can have it. I mean, I mean, it's it's not hard. It's just it's just you know take an onion and rip it apart. But yeah, Corey I, knows exactly where they're at. Uh, pretty much. Open. I strongly recommend just to get a chart that has all the sectors, you know. And I put you know the Dow uh, slash NQ ES because you know slash NQ causes the Qs to drive slash ES causes the broad market, and then I just you know I rip them apart, and then some I have subsectors, and then. Then I go in there, if I have a list of OIH, I go in, I create a watch list from, um, um, you know, you type in holdings of o o OIH, get down the top 10 or 15, and I make that as a watch list. And I do another one, you know, now I don't show all those. I, I show the broad ones, then I know how to rip it apart. Just like right now, XLF is starting to go. So that's start poking your nose in XLF and see which ones in there that are, you know, some buys. But it ain't rocket science. It's just peel the onion back. Thanks, man. That's good information. I know you've said that several times before. <laughs> so I appreciate the, uh, the repeat. Clove looks pretty good. It found a base on the weekly, made a higher low. The problem, I talk a lot. We just got to get Daryl to talk. Daryl's yeah, the one, man. Yeah. That guy's a professional trader. He's like Jerry. Yeah, Daryl's got some good advice. There's a lot of stuff that, I mean, there's some stuff that I can't, you know, I, I know what I'm looking at, but it's, it's uh, when you're, you're so used to looking at something, it's hard to explain it. Or something that's easy for me that I just overlook. Uh, other people like Daryl, he's mentioning, you know, body size and stuff like that. And, you know, I take that kind of stuff for granted and we're, I'm looking at stuff, but I can't, I need to explain it better. It's like what I'm looking at. Sometimes I overlook it. And I think it's the details, you know, that, you know, what I'm looking at, I think it's, I don't know, it's hard to explain. Because I'm looking at stuff. I'm looking at, a, I'm looking at so many different things. Uh, Maybe after the market close sometime, Jerry, get uh, Daryl to get in and talk. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I'm looking at so many different things on here. Sometimes I don't. You got to catch up on the day. What's that? You got to catch Daryl on the chat. Mm, yeah. That's where he be putting all the gems at. Yeah, he's, he's the best. Yeah, he's good. You, you, you got a lot, a lot of good ones, too. What's your name? Uh, my name is Grio. Grio, yeah, you got, you got a lot of good stuff today, especially your Tesla. Man, I'm just trying. I'm, I'm, I'm learning from y'all, man. This is, man, y'all have been a blessing, man. Over the, the past week that I've been trading with y'all, I've, 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 uh, my account has grown a lot. So, y'all, man, everything I'm doing, I've learned from y'all. It's, it's, it's been crazy in this strat strategy. This is crazy. It works. You know, not everything's gonna, not everything's gonna be a winner, but you know, oh no, yeah, uh, we keep tight stuff. Just go on the weekends, you know, uh, Tim puts the videos out, especially last Friday. I tell you, uh, Jerry called them all. And if you look at all Jerry's teaching, man, can Jerry teach? He can't just trade, but he can teach. Go back and review all that stuff and just, you know, just get it in there. You'll, you'll, you'll pick it up fast. Last Friday's was the greatest. I mean, they're all good, but that one really good. There's some good, there's some good nuggets in there. Hey, Corey, I haven't forgot about your the, the shooter that you were asking for, too. I've been working on something as far as the scans, um, something that's going to pull everything together in one scan. So, uh, oh. you, you know, another one that uh, Jerry and I were talking about is, you know, if you look at uh, your options and, and say spy, it will show you the next week, you know, what the range is. It'd be nice if we could figure out how to take that range and put it as a study. Um, so then you got an idea of what the next week's range is gonna be uh, other than manually putting it in. Yeah, um, you mean like the market maker move? On, on yeah, the, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If you go down to like spy and you open it up, it will tell you next week, you know, Friday calls that the range is, you know, um, yeah. plus or minus seven be nice if we had a study and then you can see that during the week because a lot of times when those market makers hit one of those extremes you know generally they the market reverses either way because you know they don't want to pay those things out yeah it'd be cool to have something like a um you know how orb works or i think they uh -huh. got daily range where it marks on the chart or something it's kind of like a i guess you could probably copy it off of like a ATR or something like that, ADR range, or something like yep. that. I don't know. All right. So, so Corey, I'll get with you. Um, I'll, I'll ping you at some point if you want, and we can, we can, we can talk through this because I'm going to um, borrow your brain for something else too, um, you know, with respect to some of these scans. So, yeah, I'll, I'll hit you up on the, uh, on the, on the side. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tim. Nice, man, nice. Yeah, so we're just chopping sideways right now. We're just a little choppy chop. SLB going wild. Yeah, I appreciate all you guys. I mean, there's a lot of experience, more experience than me and stuff. And they have insight, like, Corey, I mean, this guy knows every sector. He's got some amazing charts too. He knows, he knows exactly where the money's at. As soon as the market opens, he knows where it's at. He know where it, he knows where it ain't. He can see instantly where money's flowing. Daryl's amazing. There's so many good people, and then Gary, he's, I mean, he finds some good stuff too. But well, then you also have people. Tim. He's one of the greatest programmers ah. fixing all yeah, that exactly. stuff. Yeah, Tim is awesome, man. He he has really made some good stuff. And the thing is, like, you know, it's just like we we make it as we go. Or he he makes it, you know, it's a team effort, but you know, it's it's for the greater good and he shares it, he gives it away. It's like well, stuff a, that nobody ever came up with. And then you had another guy in there in the room, it's really good. Remember he did that video showing people how to use Active Trader. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, now I think Tim's the one that uh, he done. He showed how to put, set up uh, stuff for to enter and exit uh, conditional trades. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So so you could uh, set up a certain criteria before it takes it and exits, and it sets everything. It's like I said, forget it. Terrible. Great video. Amazing. There's I don't, some, there's some I don't, good people in the room, but a lot of people just don't talk. They're just silent. But there's, mm -hmm. I bet you, almost everyone in this room is awesome traders. Oh, absolutely. That's what I was just going to say. I don't talk much on here. I, I work from home. I have a full time job. I try to trade what I can, but I know I miss a lot of stuff. But uh, this is Optionizer SS. My name is Danny. Yeah, yeah, you're the one to put that video on Active yeah. Trader. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You're really good. It's yeah, crazy. I've been doing it a while. I, 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 I started becoming profitable, just barely keeping my head above water, and then I started learning the strat about a year, well, a little over a year ago now. And um, it took me a while to catch on. I didn't buy any of the courses or anything. I just figured out, you know, learned it on my own, watching videos and mm -hmm. watching you guys and all that. And yeah, I'm starting to. Starting to have some pretty good days here now with it. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's awesome. It's like when it clicks, when it's click, you know, when it clicked for me, I'm like, man, I was scared I was gonna lose it, you know. And at first, I'm thinking, <laughs> uh, man, is this just, am I just lucky? And then, you know, the week passed, and then the weekend came. I'm like, holy shit, I hope I don't forget this stuff. And Monday came, and it, yeah, I had another successful week, and then I had a successful month and two months, and here we are today. It's still working. It's, there's nothing my, lucky about it. It just works. My big thing I need to work on is trying to add the positions. I, I usually start out with one or two contracts. And mm -hmm. then when I add, I end up moving my stop too high and get stopped out. And then, you know, I lose more money than I would have if I wouldn't have added. You, you, you know, what you should, you should do is take that Friday video last week. That was just, you know, I try to improve my, I think, and I'm not saying I'm not fawning, but Jerry's just unbelievable. I watched that video. I, I picked up stuff because you learn more. You know, when you're not trading, you can focus on it. Right. He's got so many great nuggets last Friday. Unbelievable. Well, yeah, his, that, his teaching and training is off the, you know, you can't describe it. Yeah, another issue I have is I, I'm in charge of a team of 16. And at any, at any moment, somebody can call me looking for help or something or have a question. So I might jump in a trade and then somebody calls me, I turn around and I, you know, I, I it might drop before I get to put my stop in place or something. Yeah. So that can really hurt you. You know, it turns a good trade into a bad trade really quick. Yeah. I usually have um, my bracket order set on my template and I usually get in. Um, I'll, I'll put like a, maybe a 30 and 15% uh, limit and stop. Mm -hmm. And then I'll, I'll slide those on active trade or just adjust them to where I need them on my chart. But you know, sometimes it bites me because I'll put a fifteen percent stop on it on a fifteen hundred dollar Tesla entry, and that you know fifteen percent is too much for me on a fifteen hundred dollar entry. Uh, yeah, yeah, it could be a big loss. Who's who trying again here? The video is trying to come up pretty fast too, so we might have a second win here. NVDA two two fifteen. Second out stops. And ID IWM starting to come up, but the tech cumulatives moved up. And if you look at IWM, it mainly bios, small financials, and also oil. So, so once you know where they're at, you, you can just play those things. Nice. Yeah, I do the, I do the same thing, Corey. I have um, a watch list of the seven major indexes that uh, XLF, XLV, and then I have watch list under each of those. So I can see which ones um, I have. I use the chart with the the time frames the, the columns for year month week with the green boxes and when oh, i yeah. see a lot of when i see a lot of green in one of the boxes then i'll click on that that particular index and i have a list of the uh, of the stocks that you know the major stocks within that index yeah yeah and, and like mine i have up on my on my charts i have the nasdaq 100 uh, as a watch list live the Dow, 
Here's, and, and, uh, here's your uh, SP, uh, here's your watch SP list right here, Corey. Pardon? Your watch list, I stuck it up on the screen for people to see if they want to. But if you keep the Dow up, all right, that, that's pretty much all the industries. And then, hey, like you said, you, you want to change the screen? I just want to take a picture of that. There's one I sent to Jerry. I, I have all the, well, that's not all, but that's the major indexes. So mm -hmm. I'm that's sitting perfect. there, you know, watching those just to see. This is his. Um, I modified it just a little bit, not much, though. That's a good idea. Get a picture of that. I might, I might set mine up like that. Yeah, I got that. I have two of them because um, I can't put them on there. Then I got another one. You, you put it on flexible grids. So I can toggle back and forth, or I detach it That's and right. I can see all the other sectors. Right. I, but it, it gives me a here, shot. Man. Then when I have them, then I can just go right to that sector with my watch list and then and then start peeling apart which ones are moving or where they look good. Yeah, I have one. One of my monitors has four charts. I have Apple, Tesla, Spy, and Qs, and I have them all set on a thirty-minute chart. But I, I kind of like your idea better because I can see more. I really don't need Apple and Tesla up there. I, I used to trade those a lot, and I used to only focus on like five stocks, and those were two of the ones I really focused on. Um, I could probably pull those off and set that chart up more like what you're showing there. So yeah, so so. Um... Corey's, he had the days and some other stuff on there. Um, I stripped some of it off, but I have his, his original one too. If he wants to share, I don't know. No, oh, you can share it. I, I, anyone can have it. I'd love to see that. You mean to, you mean to post it in the uh, chat? Is that okay, Corey? What are, yeah, I don't or care just, for, for anyone. I, I, I mean, that's not rocket science. No. It's just something that helped me. And again, I'm not trying to say, I, I, I just heard Rob say on the room one time, you know, you got to know what's going on with the sectors. So heck, you know, um, I just put it up there. And Rob says sometimes it takes him half a day on a Monday to know what's going on. Hell, I can look at it right there. I can tell you right what's going on. Yeah. Yeah, and any, anything I put out there can be shared with anybody. I'm not, I'm not like yeah. that. You have to put that in the chat. <clears throat> yep. And then what you can do is then take that. So what I have is I have TNX in there, which is good. That tells you that's the tenure that, you know, for the last couple of months been stubborn and affecting the cues. And then I got the VIX, but you know, those are sort of the, you know, the stuff that are tell you that's, that's good or bad. That's, you know, causing problems. We're getting some movement, guys. Um, SPAC's trying to break. QQQ's trying to break. Tesla's trying to come up. NVIDIA's uh, TTO one. So we're getting some more movement, finally. NVIDIA breaks 706.44 is long. There's a 2-2 right now on the 30. And we got our pullback on the 60. Tesla's trying to come up here as well. Let's see what she do. It's a broke pivot pull right back down and consolidation. All right, I got that screen, Corey. Thanks for that. No problem. Uh, I'll uh, later. Uh, I got another one that, that has all the other, um, you know, indexes. Uh, I, I can put that out there too. I, I have a couple of that one. I didn't clean it up. It's an older one that has a bunch of moving averages. So it's not, in, you just kill them. I, I had a few of them on that stuff. Long time. I don't. I try not to use those damn other than VWAP. But I'll, I'll put in the chat this one too. This is another of all the other indexes. That that, that now, one's my main one because that's where, where most of the meets at. Yeah. I've got one. I took his chart and I cleaned it up. If somebody wants the one, it looks like this one. Yeah, I traded uh, Google earlier. The um, what is it? The Class C. The G G G O O G L, -G -O -G. Uh, the oh, one with yeah. the L. <laughs> yeah. Um, I traded that earlier on the inside month up, and uh, I got about ten percent. I think I paid fourteen hundred or so and sold it for like sixteen hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I sold it right when it approached my pivot. Uh, I have, I use my pivots are different than yours, but I've been using them for a while and they're they're pretty good. So, mm -hmm. um. 
I sold it right before it hit that pivot and it, it got within maybe $2 at that pivot. Um, nice, man. Actually it came within 66 cents of that pivot. And yeah. uh, I, I sold it almost at the high. I don't try to catch tops, but I just, I knew I wanted to get out when I got close to that pivot. Yeah, I do the same thing. I set a limit. I get at about a little bit less than 20%. And uh, that's a big bass move for, for Goose. That's a big, 20% is a big move. Let me say that right now. Catch yeah, kind of come back out. The, the one that you were just describing, that's probably a lot better stock to trade than the other one that, 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 uh, Jerry trades because the one that you're trading, that, that's the one they do the buybacks on. Oh yeah. Yep. You know, so you're going to get some movement on the buybacks. Yeah. I, I don't, I just did an inside month scan at the end of last month and it came up. So that's, that's the only reason I had that one instead of the other one. What is that? Really, XLF, Corey, what is the top, some of the holdings in that? Which one? The financials. financials. That's the financials, the banks. Ah. Yeah, the banks. XLF. And then and, and then you get in and you can get the meat ones. If XLF's moving and, and you yeah, want to just trade the index, you can get FAS, which is a triple. And you know, when things are moving, you can you, you you know you get your options even moving triple fast. There's JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, uh, Bank, Bank of America. America. And then, and then you also have the insurance companies, travelers, um, stuff like that in there. Jake, uh, active traders should be enabled by default. There's a tab on the right side. You'll see a list of buttons down the right side of your screen. It'll have, uh, let's say, trade, time, time and sales, and then active traders, a third one down. There's might be going again. Yes. Okay. I appreciate it. I've, I've looked for that button. I followed your video. <laughs> Can't seem to figure it out. Yep, it's there. This is on the five ninety eight. If, 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 if that one guy's looking for, if you're struggling on it after market close, because you're probably trading, call up Toss, and they'll, they'll they'll come on your computer and set it up for you. Okay, appreciate it. Yeah, I've noticed that wait times to call Toss are a lot shorter after market. Close. Yeah, after market's better, but they'll. You know, they'll, you know, you give me your account, they'll come in and, um, you know, go right in there and set it up for you. All these things here. you guys are sharing, I'm going to need to get another monitor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, monitors are cheap. They're not that expensive. And, you know, all you have to do is get that uh, UBS uh, to HDMI port uh, that plugs in. You can put in as many monitors as you got those ports. Yes. Or yeah. UBS. Monitors are very important. Kiss is long here, guys, for scout. Kiss is long to a target is 598. Breaks 598. We're going to see. Yeah, yeah. Carol's right. UBS to HMI. Yeah. Jerry, maybe one time, uh, you, you have another one of those things after the market and maybe when people's not reviewing you know they can give some of their tips what they do and everyone can learn from everybody i like that i like that idea a lot yeah because i'm all about improving my strategy still i mean there's a lot of stuff i still don't know always got room for improvement that's a terrific idea That, you know, that last gentleman on there, he'd be really good to, you know, give his thoughts and, and Daryl and other people. I'm not leaving people. I just don't know everybody. Optionizer XS. Do 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 do
I took uh, Tesla Long. Uh, what calls for next week? Let's see what's going to do here. Tesla Long. I took it early. For what strike you looking at for Tesla Long? Mm -hmm. I guess the. But yeah, go ahead. I guess it's 590 calls. You're running pretty deep in the morning. I'm not going to hang, hang on to this thing very long. I just want to try to catch as much movement as I can out of it. In case it wants to chop. It looks like it's fighting that 60 pivot. Yeah, it's sitting right on top of it. Yep. So, so Tim, there's probably one you can look at how that, how it does that 60 pivot. Yeah, that's important. That's a good. I missed it. Which one are we talking about? Tesla. Tesla on the 60 pivot. Remember you asking a question? Yep. You can sort of see it live right there. Okay. Yeah, I see it. Man, they hold them pivots. And the thing too, the most successful trade is a trade. Like if you're new and you want the most, um, the highest chance of success is it push through pivot. And then when it comes back down and, and bounces, so it retests it and then bounces. All right. That's your highest probability of success trade. So, well, a different candle though, you're saying it bounces, I mean, uh, sometime later. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll show you. Let me this thing look back up, I'll show you. Hey, Corey, I uploaded an, um, an ETF file that I found somewhere. I don't know if it's Facebook or what have you, you know, months ago. Is this more or less what you're, you're looking at as far as top holdings for ETFs when you see, you know, one of the, uh, one of the ETFs that you're looking at, uh, you know, uh, performing well that day? Yeah, yeah. So, so, so in essence, I'll just give you an example. As, as I um, let's say XLF you know, I have it on that one chart. Then I'll go in and on, on Google type in top holdings for XLF. And then I'll create a watch list called XLF and I'll bang in, you know, maybe the top 20 of them. Gotcha, okay. As a watch list. And I do that for every sector. So there's, my, a permanent, my, there's a permanent watch list that you have, I mean. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly. Hey, can you see Google on my uh, screen? Yeah. All right, let me show you. So here's pivot. Of course, it, you know, we always play the initial break, which is this candle here. See you there, optimizer. Have a good day. And then it pushes up and comes back down on this wick, this candle here. That's the retest of this pivot, right? Yeah. So when it bounces and comes back up across this high, you can take it long here. That's the retest. And the retest happens on, on any time frame. If you're on the five minute, 15, 30, 60, the higher time frame it happens on, the bigger this move. And on top of that, if this move is $2, then your, your target's gonna be $2. So it's always twice the first move. And it's measured from the high before the pullback. So from here to pivot low. But you're, you're taking it once it crosses the, the original high above uh -huh. the pivot, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So, you know, I'm taking the break. I like taking the retest too. But the retest is there's a, even a higher chance of success when it bounces across the, the thing. But sometimes it could do, it could uh, wick down just a little bit and then go back up. Sometimes it'll, it'll wick down and not even get close and then come back up. So as long as it's pushing back up, it's a higher it's chance of success. It, it's basically they're looking for confirmation that, that it really is going to do what it's going to do, right, Jerry? Exactly. So it's like this. So, you know, I say to myself, well, they try to take the price lower and there's, there's, they can't. Right? They can't take it lower. They try and they try. There's only one direction and that's up. And their retest works for shorts too. 
you see on, on all the time, even on the higher time, you'll see a lot of times on the uh, on the weeklies. Um, well, right here on the do, right here on the weekly. Now you gotta understand too that they'll look down below it sometimes, and that's you know that's not failed. It just means it, it they it's what happens. Let's see, it comes back down. It actually retests right here, and it's below this pivot, but it's still a retest. So I'll see how it holds. They can't take it any lower than this area right here. All right, and then it bounces and it just comes right back up. And then it bounces here and comes back up. It bounces there and comes back up. Yeah, just over and over and over. This is sideways here. So here's a two, sideways, a one, break of this, two. It goes sideways here, inside. It's a two. It goes sideways. It breaks here. It'll be a two. It's just two one twos all day. On every time frame, it's a two one two. And then it can go up, trade sideways, and then come back down. It's still a two one two. It's just a two two. All right, shit. We're up in the money on Tesla. Up 30% on Tesla. Take that any day. Let's see if we can get Tesla to 100% today. How about that? We're going to see 100%. There's going to be another tip giveaway. Let's see. Let's see if we can do it. I don't know. Test the potential for it. Uh, well, Google's going to be long. Shit, it's long on that time frame. It's not long right now. But here's that retest right here on the, on the 30 for Tesla. It'd be long when it crossed 2453. G-O-O-G-L is probably going to look pretty darn similar to this right here. But the retest is where the magic happens. And that retest happens on the five-minute too. So you can see right here, it breaks through this line here, comes back down, bounces two or three times, and takes off. The retest is probably safer entry after like 1130 or something, right? Yeah, absolutely. Or um, you don't, and so you get a safer entry, but also say you break pivot. If you wait on that first pullback and the next leg up, so you get, you wait at least for one TTO, that's a safer entry. So um, a pullback and the bounce off the pivot after breakthrough is very significant. But you could literally have a push up and one pullback, and then you can enter on the first TTO after entry. All right. Tesla needs to break this pivot right here. 598.92. That'll take it to 603.44. But if you look at Tesla, it did wick down here, but it held support on the pivot. Now, and I'm saying that because sometimes um, if you're going to, if somebody's going to make some kind of scan or something like that, uh, you need to add this into it because sometimes they will wick down just to hair. So the pivots here, if you look here, there's a pivot here as well, pivot low. Now, if you drew a line right there, it comes down and touches the pivot, bounces before going higher. Right? So when you're looking at these things, you know, you got to look at the broader picture. So everything, you always want to look at the broader picture on everything. Pivot low here, but the most recent pivot low is here. Yeah, pushing up, yeah, it broke. So it's going to be a 2-2 two, two here on the 60. We're down 2 up, coming right back this red, red, red bar here. Look, target is still the top of this red bar for today, 602.75. So it had a big push up, it consolidated. So here's your inside. It's breaking that inside right this second. And up 41.35%. Let's get 100. Let's see what we can do. I'd like to see 200% on Tesla today. Let's see what
Getting a stack on first one. Yeah, that's in case. Uh, thirty nine point four, forty five point one nine. Forty-seven. I'm calling it. We're gonna see hundred percent on Tesla. Calling it. I got in early. Target six oh three. That's forty-five point one nine. Forty-four point two. This is long. Look right here on the five minute. There's a retest on it. Right, these retests happen on all time frames. It chops sideways here. This is consolidation. Then we have another consolidation level here. It breaks. Okay. Push up. Retest. There's a push up and a retest here on this one as well. And it's going back up. This is the main range. Here, All right? So, really, if you look at it, this is a two. All this is a two, sometimes two inside up. So, when it breaks this pivot here, we're looking for another two. So, it could do a false break here, All right? So, it could break out there. The pivot comes to here. Let's see if I can draw it. Right. No, it's not perfect. There's a breakout on this thing. Come back and retest and go higher. We can move a stop up to here in this area. If you want to get more room, you can put your stop on these candles here. This is up uh, 52%. Oh shit, the video's trying to TTO up too. You get ready, can we get back in the video? We got a confirmation. We got a push up, a pull back, and a push up 15. It needs a break at 706. So look, same thing as test, a push up two inside. We're waiting on that break. We're looking for that 212. Longer consolidation, the bigger the break here. We should have a nice push up. Consolidated for three hours. Two, one, two. All right, this on this, and it's marked by the pivots. Is inside. All oh, this is inside here. All oh, this over here is a two. There's a run up. Here's the rest. We'll look for the next leg up. Now, how do we know we've hit the bottom here? I'll show you. We don't guess where the bottom is. But look, we got first pull back, push up, second pull back, push up, third back, push up. All right, it needs to break. If it don't break, remember, it can push up here, pull right back in, then go back through range. All right, and then push back up, expand. All right, so let's look. 
this this range started here. Let me extend it. There you go. So it's possible we can go back there. Test that fifty two percent. So if it wants, it can come back down and start chopping sideways again. Yeah, that's what happened with me um, on Beyond today. So it broke the pivot high, and then I got in too early, mm -hmm. and then it came back down through range. Yeah, that's what happens. Is um, nothing too bad about that. The volume's low right now on it. The current volume one thirty four, average to sixty. Um, we got roughly uh, thirteen minutes left. You can just start it early. You know what? Volume is increasing. On it. We got thirteen minutes, and volumes are already at. Once that, but it's picking up, so it could come back there. Who knows? We'll see. Ooh, Sherry, no check out. Now. Check out N N U E N U E on the thirty mm -hmm. minute. If it breaks that that pivot on the thirty, it could go up to one eleven mm -hmm. pretty quick. N U E. Yeah, that looks good. I had that on my big screen the other day. Or actually, this morning I took it off there. Push up. Here's your TTO. Come right back up. Target's 111. Yeah, so keep eye on that right there, guys. That big red candle's money. Big old red candle's money. All right, let's look at Novash right now. We got a 2 2 reversal of 60. Novash. No bass can run, it can also shoot. Tesla up 42%. I want 200% on Tesla. But I do try to break again. Lockheed Martin's trying again. Piton. You see Piton? Isn't that the craziest thing? Look here. Oh, yeah, I, I knew what I was going to do today. She's going crazy. Look at that. Puked. Bounce all the way back up. Now it's coming all the way back down. I don't think it's going to come all the way back down. It's rolling. So when you're looking, when you have the bigger picture, you can kind of see what it's doing. Um, as the thing starts to slow down, as volume decreases, you'll see it start to cut. It'll start to base. That's piton. That's what it's been doing. It's chopping. It's just chopping sideways. But the good thing is, you can trade piton. Um, I don't care if it's if it's volatile or not. When it's when there's a set pattern to it, you can trade it. They can trade it. That's a smooth smooth pattern. All right, that's it. Come on, we're up fifty six point seven. Fifty six. Fifty nine point six two. Sixty six. I'm getting hundred percent on Tesla today. Again, another Friday, 200%. There you go. This is 1.5. Hey, guys, I'm out of here for the day. Have a great weekend. Corey, I'll, I'll send you a text later if that's okay. Absolutely. Have a day, sir. Thanks, guys. Good one, Thank Tim. You. Have, a, have a good weekend. Have a good weekend, buddy. Yeah, uh, John, are you on there? Is, is John the Roku guy? John, yeah, I think so. Uh, you need to, Jerry, you need to teach him how to do uh, options so he, he can make a hell lot more money than uh, okay, having all those yeah. pairs. He can make so much more money and save so much. The risk can be a lot lower. You know what I'm saying? He could buy five contracts and make what he's making with 500 shares. Well, and also when he's shortening, he's having to pay um, um, margin call fees. Yeah. Getting action, got a jump for me. Uh, that NUE just broke. NUE, oh, nice. This is long or 49 and 50. What's the best way to learn options? Uh, first thing is go to resources in the Discord. There's a book right above the Epic Point. Uh, it's a mandatory read if you have to read it. You've got to understand all the greats or you'll get killed. Hey, Jerry, if you don't mind if I interrupt, there's a really good YouTube video that was made for options. It's 
for like basically beginners. It'll, it's two hours long, but this guy breaks it down in every detail possible. If I find the link, I'll post it. I don't know if I can post in resources, by the way, so I might have to post in uh, general channel, but this guy's video is a must because he dissects it to the team. It'll be easier too if you're like a visual guy. I can't read. That's why I watch YouTube. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. I think Nick just said the same thing. He has a video too, two hours long. It's probably the same video. Yep, there you go. Hey, Nick, do you want to post the link then, buddy, if you got it or wherever it is? Thank you, Daryl. I appreciate you, buddy. You're the man, Nick. There's so many helpful people in here. Um, there's some, there's some, oh, yeah, there's some videos too in, um, in the resources up toward the top. It shows you how to set up Active Trader for anybody interested. It shows you how to trade or shit. Yes, I can't even think. Sixty-eight percent. Um, it shows you how to set up active trader for options. And the guy's name is Carmine Risotto. There's a list of videos. That guy's really good, man. He shows you, you know, he talks about supply and demand and all that stuff too. But he shows you how to set up your your active trader and watch list so you can access multiple contracts at one time. But uh, he's pretty good too. But he didn't. He, I don't think he's gonna go over the Greeks and stuff like that. That's that's first and foremost. The Greeks are very important. When does uh let's see when Tesla breaks that inside day? Yeah, so inside day is nothing more than a chop, guys. You can trade it, you can trade it inside day as long as there's enough range. I'd love to see that 212 break out at 603. We'll take the day up too. And target my target is on Tesla is this. Top of this big red candle right now. Hey, Bible's breaking out right now from range. Oh, sure is. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, it's a little bullshit. Yeah. Baidu's one I keep in my list all the time. I love Baidu. Where's that book on value you, that you were talking about? On options? Mm hmm Yeah, so if you go to resources in the mm -hmm. Discord, go all the way up, you'll see uh, Rob's uh You'll see Rob's videos, the Epic Coin videos, the Bright Information. Right above that, you'll see two books. One's by N. Kuye. And, and in that same paragraph is the book on options. Okay. And really, that is a must read for really anybody. Like, you, I don't care if it's that book, but you need to understand the Greeks. Delta. No, yeah, I've read it. No, I just want to read it just so I can get more info. I've read another one, but yeah, I just, you know. That's a I'll really good book. Yeah. And on top of that, um, the, it, there's in the back of it teaches you how to play earning run up. With on top of the bright, you said on top of the brightening formation? Yeah, you'll uh -huh. see Rob's epic coin video. And then um, right above that, you'll see the uh, that paragraph. It's got a couple links to uh, PDFs to the books. And yeah, it's some good books. Tesla up 60.58, 58.65. Tesla, I'm not going to give up on you until I get 100%. I'll cut my contracts at 50. I'm not going to give much back, but I'm trying to, I'm trying to give it some room. So right here on Tesla, 15 minutes, I want to see a bounce. Let me put all this garbage up here. All right. Let's see if we can do a repeat of last Friday here. Because it is. You're going to say Yes. All right. Pivot. All right. We're going to allow it to come down to here. We want it to. Come up at least here. The video coming down strong. QQQ is trying to break too, guys. Got a bull flag. QQQ. Tesla down to 42%. You see, Jerry, that tick cumulative. Uh, Reversed up on the spy. Oh shit! Sure did. Is it inside? You can I can't believe it. We don't have that tick cumulative for uh, 
trade in view. Well, it makes a big difference. Well, you know what? I'm going to post on your uh, Discord, see if anyone is a, a scripter from TOS to Pine. I'm losing my brain trying to figure out all these stuff on trading view. You just got to come down to the U.S., fill out your account, and get a, you know, just a trading thing for TOS. Right now, they got everything shut down for us, right? So when you go, they, they put such a hassle on you. It's like, how do you want to go through that crap right now? Like, where I live, Ontario, is probably the stupidest province by far. Like, I don't know what the hell's wrong with our premier, to be honest with you. Other provinces have opened up, but Ontario just like, oh, we're just going to sit at home. Life is beautiful. Well, I live in California, and they pull the same crap. Oh, my God. My cousin's in Houston. He's a police officer. He's loving life. They, they've been out and about for months now. And he goes, uh, I don't know. Like, I, I don't want to argue with anybody, but I guess life goes on, right? Corey yeah. in California, Corey. I'm in Texas, too, but... <clears throat> I live in the Los Angeles area. Okay, I'm in San Francisco. Oh, okay. San Francisco is beautiful. Is anybody from Canada here, or am I by myself? Most likely by myself. By yourself. Damn, yeah, man. I'm from Ontario. Pardon? I'm from Ontario. Oh, hell yeah. I'm not the lower. Where, where are you from? Toronto, buddy. Well, right outside of Toronto, there's a city called Vaughan. Yeah, I live in Simcoe by Lake Erie. Oh, beautiful. We were yeah. there about a week and a half ago. We were trying to drive through to go to uh, the hell my buddy's place. Jeffrey, where's that place called? Uh, where Chris lives? Okay. Alston, yeah. So we passed through. No, no other way. I'm towards Brantford. Oh, okay. Down okay. by like well, Lake Erie, Port Dover and all that. Oh, so you're out there. How is it? Yeah, you like down it? And... What's that? You like it out there? Yeah, I love it. Honestly, I'm sick of the city life. I, I the beach is food. 20 minutes from my house. Um, Beautiful. Like the border's an hour from hour and a half from me. It's That's nice. amazing. I want to get out of the city, but I do love Vaughn because I love pizza and espresso. So I think this is perfect. Like this is life right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I live on a big farm, so I got lots of space. <laughs> Have you guys uh, up there in Canada? Have you ever been over Lake Louise? Yeah, yep, I've been there. My uh, wife, she's not in her head while she's listening. <laughs> Where is it? Alberta. Oh, it's in Alberta. Uh, Corey, that's in Alberta. Yeah, it's yeah. over by it's over by Calgary. It's on the way to yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah it's out in Alberta. Oh, my wife's telling me I failed geography as well. I have a brother-in-law out there, so I get to go out there once in a while. You ever done like road trips? Yeah, I drove out to, uh, I've done uh, from here to BC before. Wow. That's what yeah. we want to do because I want to take my dog. And it's I, pretty no fun. Way it's put a, him on a, it's a nice drive. You go all Canada, it's a great drive. Yeah, my buddy did the the other side. He went to Nova Scotia yeah. and apparently the pancakes at McDonald's have lobster in them too. And I was like, <laughs> that's <laughs> messed up. <Gross. laughs> but they, that's all they eat out there. He goes, everything is lobster. I was like, I know, okay. seafood. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys if you're scalping if you look at nvidia on the five minute it hit the bottom of the pivot if you're playing small scalps this is these are these are the ones i would play i'll get like two three contracts make like 30 cents and just close AMC didn't do anything as much as I expected today. I had some Blackberry calls expiring today. They did nothing. Yeah, they oh, yeah, they meme stocks just got rocked. Yeah. I took some notes. Well, I thought Blackberry actually. might have closed at 20 this week, but well, I, I got some distant calls because I've been watching the flow and there's tons of money going into Blackberry. And it's not just a meme stock, it actually has good backing, good dealings. It's even Nokia. Yeah. Well, yesterday on uh, today calls, the $20 calls, there had 120,000 in volume just in $20. Oh, right? Let me see if I can pull up something on BB right now. Um, Corey, Leslie said she was in Los Angeles too. Oh, really? That's Leslie's. Oh, okay. Yeah, I live out by uh, Thousand Oaks between Los Angeles and uh, Santa Barbara. I've been to uh, San Bernardino. Yeah, I'm closer to downtown LA. 
Okay. FedEx trying to break down here. Right there on that pivot. Doggy I mean, shine looks like it's going to reverse bike. on the 15. Cool. FedEx who wants to go here. It's going to. If it brings from OC. 299, should go. The guy that lives in San Francisco, did, you ever been down uh, Donner's Pass? I came through there in the wintertime. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's up in Tahoe, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We 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 go up to Tahoe every every now and then to go skiing and stuff. Yeah. And Not so lately. I was in the, um, so we were coming through there and uh, we were coming down to San Francisco and it was like, you know, eight feet of ice, snow and stuff on the side of the roads. And um, we came down to San Francisco and it was um it looked like springtime. It was like roses. Green hey, grass. I, IBM just broke out of range if anybody wants to play it. Mm. I'm oh, looking at FedEx, Dawson. Man. FedEx just broke here. It's short. FedEx is short. Daryl called that one on chat. But it just broke through this pivot on the 15. Okay. Yeah. Nice trade there, Daryl. Wow. Is, uh, is Donner's Pass, is that in Yosemite? Uh, no, it's up toward. Uh, it's toward the top of California to come into it. Like Lake Tahoe area. Yeah. Yeah, it's got some good skiing up there, too. Yep. Here comes Tesla again. The the wrong part. Yeah, you know, the place is uh, uh, the Mojave Desert. Beautiful, man, especially at sunrise. Holy shit. That's incredible, dude. Come up through California, Mojave Desert. I mean, it's, it's straight up, and you get to the top of the desert, it's just flat. But it's just so pretty. Los Angeles is, is cool until you hit rush hour traffic. You know, it's about five miles and two hours. It's pretty, pretty. Mountains are pretty. See, in Tennessee, it's, the mountains here are just green trees, stuff, right? And in California, it's, they have big, pretty mountains, stuff, but, but it's mostly like rocks, rock hills and stuff everywhere, right? This is trying to come back to that. Uh, Arizona's nice. New Mexico's nice. Just a lot of dry, arid. It's a different kind of tree. Cool in the sun, seeing the sunset. Because you can see for miles, and as the, as the cars come through the road, you can see it for miles away, and it's just really neat to see their headlights come down uh, like as the road winds. Pretty neat. Still on Tesla here, uh, 55%. I'm holding that, man. I'm holding that for 603. It can run a 640 if it wants. You see what I'm saying? It Tesla can run a 640 bucks today. It could actually, if it could, it could do whatever hell it wants to do, frankly. But I'm still holding. Up 65.38. 62. I guess I thought uh, Yosemite was closer to Tahoe. Not too good at geography. Yeah, Yosemite's pretty too. Honestly, I haven't even been to Yosemite yet. I lived here all, in the Bay Area all my life. But what's the best is Tahoe, though. That's that whole place. Gorgeous. Donner's Pass is cool, too. FedEx just did a big hammer on that 15-minute. Uh, yeah. Come right back to right on that again. pivot. I didn't take it. I'm watching that. Thank you. Shut right back up right there. On the time, on the low, on the higher time frames, though, it's Thank you. bearish. Right Daryl, when you got uh, FedEx today, you got that put. Did you use today's options or next week's? Wait. Right, let's keep that on good. Yeah, two one. Nvidia. All right, Nvidia is starting to hammer. What's bouncing off the top? It's in the top range. Nvidia is between seven hundred and seven hundred seven. Getting closer to the top of it, though. 
New Hitting Break 706.44, she's going to be hot. Those, those SMH stocks are smoking in the money. Okay, thanks, Daryl. Do you use a, a, a one minute um, chart, Daryl, to scalp, or do you just use the same ones Jerry's using? <clears throat> Thank you, Daryl. Ooh, Microsoft might be trying to pull back out here. It could pivot machine gun if it wants to. Microsoft can. Fifteener. NSFC, so it made a higher hello. Watching this MV MVIS. It's kind of bouncing off this level at 21. Yeah. So Microsoft could be 2 2 and on 60. That's a quick come up through there. Yeah. Yeah, that Microsoft on that 15, boy, they've got a lot of little candles. It could just rip right through there on them. Yes, sir. MG. It could look just like an item disk right now. So it could it could do it could do just like this right here. Push up and straight through. Okay. There's a lot of them right now. They're two two. There's a lot of two twos on the sixty right now. A lot. So we might end up closing the day pretty quick. Or with a pretty good move. A few more in the chat again. CTTV. Billy. Billy's trying to be somebody. Yeah. Push that pull back down. Yeah, so EA could be basing off this pivot. Target would be 145. Tesla at 63.85. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, she's trying to come back up and be somebody. Oh, here goes Tesla again. Again, my 100%. Come on. I want it. 64.4 Tesla. Jerry, 66. check out Jeff. Jeff Blue, it just broke the five minute pivot. Looks like it's got, oh, it's not got that much range, but the X, X and livestock are starting to move. Jeff uh, Blue, what's the ticker name? JBLU, but it's not that much me, but I'm starting to see the XLU. I mean, the XLI stocks moving. Okay, gotcha. Tesla's up 65, 67. I'm holding up for 100. 68, 64. 
I'm liking that Microsoft setup. Yeah, beautiful, man. Yeah, that could be a real quick uh, pivot machine gun. Good thing. Ooh, jet blue. Bring it inside, inside up. Solid green candle. Break it to five. Another. Look here on the uh, four hour, just a runner formation. And that's the punch. All this can here. So to be a real trend line, it needs to touch at least three times. The more time it touches, the better. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah, exactly, Daryl. Yeah, 36. 36 gets them smooth movements. Um, you know, on my big screens here, I'm constantly watching these 15 for any kind of for any signs of reversal. Uh, later in the day, after lunch, I'm looking at 36 because I want to see the overall trend. But I'm looking strictly on 15 for a signal. And then I go in on a five minute and I take my sniper entry. I need more monitors. <laughs> yeah. It's he's puking here. Yeah, the more monitors, the better, really. I mean, I got two big ones, but I got two laptops and I'm, I'm at, I got a MacBook I don't even use. I mean, I got it's an iPad. But they're just T oh, TV monitors, they're nothing fancy. Remember, everything is much more expensive in Canada than America, right? You guys got a lot of stuff that are much cheaper than us. You can go buy a brand new 32 inch TV for 100 bucks. Wow. 98 bucks for brand new. It has the taxes there. Hey, That's Jerry, uh, I think Zoom might be just flagging, ready to roll again. Hey, what SC could be rolling over here? Zoom, let's take a look at Zoom. Mm, oh, no, it's kind of chaffy. All right, Zoom. Have to come back and bam. I'm going for all or nothing on Tesla. I'll stop out at 5%. Or 100. Or the other. Down 22.12% on Tesla. I'm playing, I'm playing with the call. If it's beginning the day or in the week, I would already took it. I would already took it. Just messing around. I don't recommend anybody doing that. I recommend you taking your damn money to screen that pops up. Especially if you got a small account. Play with it. Uh, you're, I think you called Myrna, M R N A. It's starting to pick up again, too. Yeah, Zoom, if it breaks out at 339 level, you see a nice push right now. It's just chopping sideways. Get it ready. Um, there is a shooter. It's concerning on the 30. Yeah, shooting there. Is it false break? Still there. Give me a bit for a Keep on the video here. Yeah, so the video is trying again. Tesla. 
down to 8.85. I won't let it go red, I can tell you that. Hey, Jerry, could you ver verify for me on Amazon it's a two on two up reversal? I just need verification because I'm still kind of new to the strat. Um, which time frame? Oh, it's on the 15th? Yeah. Um, I don't know, That that's a doji right there on the 15th. Uh, right now it's chopping kind of sideways, making higher lows on the daily. It's just kind of chopping. Uh, Amazon was good for scalp earlier. Right now. No, I'm just trying to understand. I have this script oh. and it said it was a two one two up. So that's why I wanted verification if the script is even yeah. working or not. Um, it is a two one two up, but um, it is not a pretty one at all. Oh, no, no, no. As long as I know it, it works. I can start to like, yeah. be like, all right, this thing actually functions properly. Yeah. Even though the freaking thing looks like a hammer heading downwards, but hey. Yeah, so that's a shooter. And they would call that a two bar extra after they shooter. Here comes Tesla speaking. I gotta stop out of Tesla. Oh, you didn't get your hundred percent? No, no. I I tried to. Yeah, I ended up right at break even. I got a dollar. But I'm just playing around with it. All right, CRM. CRM. Sometimes I fight more than by taking risks a little bit. Kind of hold up for that big one. I don't recommend anybody, I don't recommend anybody doing that at all. Take your money. CRM looks pretty good. I'm trying to teach you and come right back up. Get machine gun, 3237. So that three candle is a reversal candle. It is the actual signal. The three is all kinds of stuff. It's a practice channel itself. Price expansion that takes the do you like CRM? CRM it's pretty good. Let me see the higher time frame. Mm. Yeah, kind of chopping right now. Three, it's making higher lows in the month, higher highs inside month, inside week. Hammer right now. I don't know. It's a two one on the four hour, so it could go two two. It's trying to come back up the range. If I was going to take it long, it would be on a break at 236.50. Target's going to be 237.6. There you go. I'm 10 contracts for a dollar. What's that? So we can buy like 10 contracts, try to scalp a dollar out of it. Are they pretty cheap? Oh, I'll tell you right now. Oh, shit. QQQ's breaking, Spy's breaking. Oh, my so god that's and for some reason two of wants to screw me by not alerting me that's why i get, keep, gotta keep an eye on this stuff so spy broke out it's long it broke out at 422 and it could go to all-time highs today if it wants it who knows hey jerry those contracts are 25 cents for crm mm. it's not bad at all it's not bad at all so Four dollars. That's not bad. <laughs> Let me see. Let me take it on. You're gonna scalp it. Yeah, if you're gonna take it long, it needs to break these candle wicks here. We see candle wicks. It tells you that there's some selling pressure there. Not, not too bad on the five minute, but it needs to break two thirty six. I'd let it break two thirty six fifty. And then you can take it long. Right now, it's just kind of chopping a little bit sideways. You need a clear uptrend. It's doing that thing. You know how you draw for us all the time? It goes, it's like an end, it goes up, down, and then ready to go up again to test. You always draw mm -hmm. for us. The, oh, yeah. It looks like. Yeah, like this, push up. So there's your second pullback. It's like a, it needs to, it needs to triangle out. When it hits that top there, it TTOs. So 
See, it pulls back here and goes. As soon as it crosses this high here, is when you take it. Yeah. And that'll be a confirmation that's reversing. Yeah. So this high right there, the high of that candle. Let's see. I'm going to put an alert on this one, too. Yes, sir. Always put an alert on. And then just keep looking. Yeah. You always want to let the trade come to you. You want to put your alert a few pennies below your entry. That way you got yes. time to get everything ready. Where is it? Is it steps? Yep. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, Tesla could be you could scalp some shorts here for sure. So it breaks five ninety seven sixty, targets five ninety five seventy. Yeah. Hopefully we get a retest on this fiber back up. But it can do whatever it wants. Yeah, if you want to take Tesla short, it's going to be short right now. Tesla is short to five ninety five. Yes, the short to find it by AMC. Ooh. Trying to come back down. Yeah, the meme stocks are taking a beat down. Rocky Morton right at the top. Microsoft slowly looking up. The video is so choppy right now, you can't do anything with it. UNH 2 2 Daniel, 2 2 Daniel with a shooter. Microsoft was going to test us to short to 595 here. That's 12%. I will be taking profits on saying I'm playing with this one because it won't get me 100%. The other one could have. This one, no. Nine percent. Breaks back down like seven. Docky's making some higher lows on uh, 15. I'm trying to see like a $2 scalp from here. You know what I noticed? Your charts and my charts look different, even on the same time frame a bit. Now, Weird. are yours. You have QS? No, I got trading view, brother. Uh, well, uh, you got to make sure that they aggregate the same as mine. Otherwise, your your candles look different. So ours flips at 9 or 10 30, 11 30, 12 30. So our 60 might look different. And it's important that yours looks the same as ours. So somebody in the room who has the same broker as you do could help you. There's a way well, trade, trading view is just the platform. It's not the broker. It's just the charting platform. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's charting platform. Yeah. Um, yeah. Ask somebody. They somebody had the same problem. Well, you use TUS and and you can trade from there, right? Maybe what I'll do mm -hmm. is I have interactive brokers. Um, mm -hmm. Maybe I can fiddle around with their pro platform in the weekend, mm -hmm. uh, and I, I hope it's similar to TUS because uh, it would make life easier if I can chart and place orders at the same time. Is all is all yours aggregating at the bottom of the hour? 
uh, what do you mean by that? I mean when the market opens up. Yes. You gotta have it at the bottom of the hour. If it's not, then you're gonna come out different. Mm -hmm. Okay. So did okay. I, I shut off the, ex it. the extended hours. That that thing kind of yeah. screws yeah. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that should do it. Now you should look like hours. Yes. So on the 60 on dock, you, you should have a shooter and a two. Yeah. It should look just like ours. Because when we're talking, when we're calling stuff, it needs to look just like ours. Yep, it, it's 100% sorted out. Actually, I did this before. I don't understand how I default back to extended hours. I've got to take note of that. But thanks again. The videos might be short here. Jerry, look, Jerry, look at Tick Cumulative on the spy. It, it's really coming up. Oh, shit. They're starting to buy. Etsy's puking if you guys want to play puts. Hmm. If it push back down here, I'll be out. Hmm. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, shit. It's got oh, no. Good puts right there. <laughs> uh, one, two, inside, right at the base. So we had a big push down. It's trading sideways. This thing can really see some damage. Baby part 153. I think this might be a potential for puts. Yeah. If that 15 minute breaks to the downside here, 162, the short target would only be 161.86. Because even on my volume profile, it's broken through all the orders. It's at the lowest point. So it's either needs to recover or it's going down. We're getting some chop, I can tell you that right now. Microsoft's just taking out those pivots. Yes, sir. Looking good on it. Clean play. Microsoft 251. Yeah, pit machine gun, they're powerful. And we know that Microsoft's strong. 25165, here we go. Damn, look at good on the fiber, man. Holy crap. I wish you stayed out a little bit longer, huh? Here, push up, retest on the 60, back up. And they want to Google or read with Google. It is, thank you. What day? Choppy sideways. Uh -huh. Sideways. Snow. Sideways. Do you know what the name is? His, uh, Want to keep it out. And I saw, I had an alert on it this morning, but it's coming up right now on the on the month. It's fixing to break this pivot, right? But here's a TTO. So it's strong on the month. Here's your TTO. It's coming right back through this. First target's going to be 190, 
eight. The mixer would be in two thirty. Isn't it clear up, man? Yeah, push out some pullbacks right here. Really pushing up. It'd be a nice swing. Before I go into a swing, though, I want to be green. I want to be up and want to be pretty green on it. I don't just take uh, a swing. It needs to be. I need to be up on it before I end. Check the supply. I've been moving all day. Two and two, Jimmy. We just start a reversal. All right, right here on the daily and on the four hour. Price expanded. Well, starting to reverse straight here on the four hour. Two down, two up. My stiff pullback. I'm going to keep an eye on this one. Next week. I'll get this one there. Yeah. Yeah, kick out a fist that's what Kendra's saying. It's been a few minutes. Lucky Martin trying again. Anyway, check your supply company here. Pretty good on the month. I'm going back. Starting to slow down on that reversal. Any reversals that happen is going to happen first on the little time frames. I like confirmation on a four hour for the weekly. And of course, reversals, it's going to start reversing, going to happen first on the five, 15, 30, 60. And 60 is going to turn to four hour green, four hours going to turn to daily. And the going to turn to weekly, and it's going to turn to monthly, and so on and so forth. I want to know about it though. I'm not double set on the extreme. I think it's going to be somebody next week. I think Chase Files will be somebody. I was just trying. Get you down to it, 60. I got stuff that it cost earlier. Let me get back in it if I can, but I'm not going to let it go down. I'm going to be down a lot or anything. Mm -hmm. All right, it makes that and push up, retest, try to bounce off that pivot. Target was nice. Target gets one hell of a ticker. Yeah. Cool. Really, it's a two one two on the weak one. That's one hell of a swing. You should pull back here, push up, pulls back going. I'm watching uh, Goldman Sachs on the five minute it's a mm -hmm. bullish pennant. If it does break that pennant, I'm going to try it out. They're on 15 cents a contract. <laughs> well, that thing ran up, didn't it? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's nice now. It's nice. It broke out here. It broke out here. It broke out here. And it's up to here. Yeah. Seems like it's gone. preparing for it again. Yeah. So so far I got CRM and GS and Jerry. As in potential, please. 
Nice. Nice spy, guys. Spy right there. Keep your feet in, gal. Etsy did a reversal from that point. Damn. Spy, see him more. So push up, bounce, guy. QQQ's long still. Just slowly grinding though. But it works two thirty six, we're not in it. Chris is checking satellites again. Is do you think uh, on dash fifteen minute that's uh, almost a potential PMG? Well, can start. Oh yeah, could be a start for sure. Let's see the overall trend. Alright, our holes inside week. Man, it really needs to bounce up through that pivot on the daily. Pushed up on the four hours, pulling back at the second. Could take another run at it. Hmm. Volume's increasing on it, but some kind of attention it's getting right now. It could. It could pivot machine gun up to 145.50. Yeah, it's another dollar fifty scalp. On the 50 minute right now, we got a uh, three, right? Three candle. Yeah. Three on the 15. It, it got the potential. Just test up again. I come back down. Ooh. Still almost at 596. Try still coming up. Go back. Zoom had a nice run there. Pull down more. All right, let's do this. And next week on the on the zero day, I'm, I'm literally just gonna look at shop in Google and Amazon because they flew like 30, 40 bucks. They moved so much, man. You know, you you could literally just be in them for just a minute or two and make a lot of money. And it's affordable, right? Like on the zero day, it's, it's worth it, I would say, in a sense, because it's not that expensive. That's right. That's you know, that's why Fridays are so awesome. And you like Google, like if you got a small account, you can't it's hard I to three of them. On Monday, like, Tuesday. That's my mistake. Like I missed all three of them. Those are the three that moved the best, in my opinion. Yeah, look at Goog. I mean, Goog was like five or six hundred bucks for contract. It moved a lot, a lot. Twenty percent is a lot for Goog. So, like on one contract, like Google moved like forty dollars. Like, how much profit do you think that would have been on a contract? Oh my gosh, I mean, incredible, incredible. You got to factor in time decay, man. But still, that's a massive move. That's a massive move. A couple thousand, a more. Uh, yeah. All right, that's it. Next week, Jerry. I'm on to three like tickers. That's it. There you go. Throw them up on your screen, man, and just watch them. 
That's what I do. You don't need if you do if you do that, you don't need scans. You just look at signals. That's it. You just look at signals, reversals, continuations, consolidation breaks. That's it. That's all I'm looking for all day long. I'm looking for I'm looking for two two hammers, two two shooters. I'm looking for consolidation breaks. That's it. On my big screens, I don't have. If you look at them, uh, I don't have pivots on these things. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking for signals. That's it. Just like we found uh, Microsoft here, just on their base. So most of the time, I'm looking at the 15 minute. I still do, but later in the day, I start looking at the 30 60s because I want to see overall trend. Now, if you see a 2 2 on the 30, it's more relevant than a 2 2 on the 15. Mm -hmm. It's got more power. It's more. It's got more strength. It's more relevant. So if you're brand new to trading, <clears throat> here's your highest profitability trade jar. Uh, full time print continuity upside of the downside. <clears throat> you want to have a good pattern A plus monthly, weekly. So clear direction. Uh, it's very important you, that you're able to read it. And then um, stick to 30, 60 charts. All right. And you could take entry on the 15. But you want to stick to, you don't need, you don't have to know all the actual signals. You can really stick to the two two with a hammer or two two with shear, and make a lot of money. It's really just that simple. Mas you don't have to know them all. You can master one, get really really good at it, and then learn another one. Which I like the two one twos, but you know you could pick two twos and make a killing. You can make an absolute killing on just trading two two reverse with thirty sixty. So say. Say it's full time print on the upside, and as soon as it goes two down, two up, back to you know full time print continuity, uh, you hit it. So what if it wasn't full time? The the, the continuity wasn't there. Would you still go, or no? Well, you have to if you can un if you can interpret the chart good enough. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. I trade stuff like um, I trade stuff all the time. It's in conflict, but you've got to know exactly where price is in relation to the overall trend. So if the month is up and say the week is a two two say it's red, right? But the reversal happens first on the 60 and then the four hour, I'll take it in the hopes of going all the way back through range. So look at so if you look at zoom right here, it's green on the month and it was green on the week. But zoom the last not today but the last three days it's been red. As soon as it went two two here you know, we would have took it right back into full time frame continuity. So you got to know exactly where it is in relation to the overall trend. So you could have took the two down, two up on, on the daily and made a lot of money. Or that same channel could have been on the 60. Two down, two up. You can trade in conflict as long as you know that, as long as you understand that price will reverse first on the lower time frame. And the 60 will trigger the daily and the daily will trigger the weekly and put it right back into. Down frame continuity. But if you're new, it's best to keep them, try to keep them all green, you know, unless you can understand, unless you understand that price does reverse on the low time frames first and it pushes it back into line. The 3060s are the best. Why? Because they move slower. It's easy to interpret the signal. And plus, you can catch some huge moves on the 3060, like on Zoom here. Look right here on this 36 on the beginning of the day. Here's a two down at base. Right? It based on this pivot low, they couldn't take it lower and it bounced. So two down, two up. And your entry would have been as soon as it crossed this red can at 321.50. And your targets are just the high of each of these candles here. And it took them all out. It took out one, two, three, four days. It took out four days worth of candles. It's a lot of stops. And the more yeah. stops it takes out, the faster it moves up. That's why these big red, you know, when they come back through range, when they come back through these big red candles and green candles, they can move so fast because they're taking out a bunch of stops. And a bunch of them. That's why I like the pivot breaks on the four hour and the weekly and the daily and all that stuff because there are so many stops sitting right on top of that pivot. On that pivot break, taking out a bunch. So, you know, you can imagine all the orders on the month, and then you can, you know, and then all the orders on the week. There's so many more stops sitting on those. There's more stops on the week than there is on the on the sixty. Right? 
is a bus mark. So you got four weeks of stop sitting on in the month. Yeah. And on the week you just got five days worth of stops. So the higher the the higher time from the break and the longer the consolidation, the bigger that initial pop can be. Where as a pop consolidation break on a five minute or the pivot break on a five minute might be a dollar. Whereas if that same break happened on the week, it could have been thirty dollars. So, um, breaks are so important. We'll, we'll take a break on any time frame. It don't matter to me. So, like on AVGO here on the on the sixty, it's trading between four sixty, four seventy, four eighty, something like that. We can trade that range, you know. But when it breaks out this pivot high, you know, it could pop out a huge amount. But you don't want to be sitting here, you know, with your hands tied, you know, waiting on the break. We can on some stuff, you know. Yeah, but we can definitely trade inside this. We want a clear break or a clear bounce. Yeah, it's got a big volume bar for Beyond Meat on my five minute, like right now. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm just trying to come back up there. Shut up. Push right back down. Here's Tesla again, boys. That's to bring back up here. I'll take another call on it. When we go back in. Yeah. Oh. LRCX is trying to break here. We had new high today. LRCX is kind of kind of spreading. Apple right now is getting close to take out the high of the day. Nice. PTO. Apple. Oh shit, Lucky Martin says you go again. Costco's run. Nice. Apple. Let's take a look at Apple. You know, four is gone. It's good. Ooh, getting ready. Getting ready. Nice. So you look at it, at Apple on the daily here. You see how how uh, tight these stocks are stacked here. If it wants, it can quickly come out. It could take all these out in one day. It's possible. It happens a lot. And when one's strong enough, it could come and take all the weeklies out in one week. Of course, it's Friday. It ain't gonna happen today, but it could take out a bunch of the dailies. I'll keep Martin breaking. Do you play Apple often or no? Yeah, I played it once while. So Lockheed Martin is trying to come right back up too. Needs to break. 395. There comes Tesla, guys. All right, I'm back in Tesla. We're back in it. We're doing it. We're doing things. I'm going to get 100% this time. Let's we'll see. Let's we'll see. Give Jerry his money. Give him his money. Give him my money. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want ten. I don't want ten dollars this time. I want a million dollars. <laughs> I want a zillion billion. I don't know how, but it's up fifteen percent, sixteen three, and it kind of pull back. 18, 6, 21. Where I can't I'm not going to give it all back this time, I guarantee you. <laughs> 22. I knew better last time. I'm just messing around with it. Uh, 23, 8. I want a big push. I know Tesla can do it if it wants to. Oh, yeah. All right. So this time, Target's going to be 668. If it gets up there and bounces, I'll cut it. I'll take it right then. 23%, 230 HD. Oh, it's off. Not a big move. Ooh, NVIDIA, guys. NVIDIA, big shooter down. NVIDIA could be breaking down. They could see 701 today if it wants. 
I don't see it, but I don't know it could. You know, the video's been ripping here. It needs a pull back. You see, you're on a four hour. Every evening it pulled back after lunch. So yesterday it was at three in the morning, one after lunch. Today it's two in the morning. It's a one right now after lunch, red. So the video can come back down to 701 if it wants to. Check the supply, looks beautiful on the 15. Flat top on the 30. We're not still going up. Mm -hmm. Microsoft's almost a target. Good machine gun. Let me call that one earlier. Lucky Martin, nice. Tesla's a, uh, XT, uh, Let's do a track fire quick. -E I've got that on my chart for next week. But if you look at it on the 15 here, I said beautiful TPO. Yeah, it is. Breaks through pivot here on the inside bar. Push up, pulls back, gone. Try to TTO again right here. So look, you could take it when it crosses this high here. Right here. 1873. Because it actually bounced. It retested. And they don't have to touch the retest. The retest guy. We're a pullback. Push up 11.35. 10.5. 10.3. I still coming up fast. I still coming up fast. Right here on the 60, it's just a TTO. Push it up, pull back, going. Um, it needs to take a run and break at 387.67. Well, making higher highs, higher lows on the fiber. The video is chopping sideways. We built the trade on QQQ. Yeah. Apple, QQQ. Apple right now. High of the day. TTO. Apple, yeah. Apple along right now. Back to the pivot. Hey, Jerry, if you look at Netflix, it could also do a PMG to 501 to five dollar move if possible. Oh yeah, you can come back up there if it wants to. Yeah. It needs a clear break above pivot low though. So I would wait until, to be honest with you, I'd wait until it broke 497, 73. So in the reversals, we want a clear sign of reversal. But it could, definitely could. All right, come on, Tessa. Oh, yeah, 20%. All right, here's the deal. We get 100% on Tesla, we give it away. Like you did last oh. time to the waiter? <laughs> yep, I gave it away. You can give it to me so I can give me a better laptop so I have my, my laptop ain't freezing when I'm trying to work. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about doing some kind of thing where we give money away in the room, some kind of draw some kind of make it fair thing or something well, what we need to do jerry is actually brand you like you i feel like your recognition need it needs to be more compared to yeah. some other names that i don't want to mention how do we do it wasn't somebody in apple apple is yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. we're in apple, apple right now yeah. apple is long that's tto well jerry, i hope they don't, I hope they don't pin it at 126 though how do you brand something well there's a few ways of doing it but like what we can start to do is 
maybe you can start doing some stuff that are kind of, if you look at that guy, I think his name is Cyber or Strat Dog. I don't remember his name. So every <laughs> week he does like, uh, he does this thing where he teaches people, right? Mm -hmm. and it, it, it's a it's a it's a very basic thing but he does it every week so people get to see that okay this guy is doing something weekly for the strat community where sarah kind of does something too so mm -hmm. now you you build a following because it's consistency so i was like maybe you know anything whatever you prefer maybe something where you pose and then us as a community should start retweeting you more that way what we show to people our viewers can see and that will lead them back to you and that in turn will build up a following in that sense. Gotcha. Because that's, that's what they all do, man. I, you know, I'll say my Twitter account, I got 29,000 people. I can help you oh, out on as well. Okay. But mine was all fitness related. I've just started getting into stocks. But I'll say it's, it's the way to do it. Marketing is the way to go. And, and you're helping so many people. I, I feel bad because you repeat stuff so many times. But, you know, for the, okay. with a bigger audience or whatever, you know, we can have sections set up. And that way, you know, you're helping much more people without repeating something like a parrot over and over again. Yeah. Yeah, we could make some, and of course, suggested making some kind of uh, video where it uh, lays out the basics and stuff for the new people. Because we get so many new people in here all the time, you know, and I don't want to leave anybody out. So sometimes, you know, I repeat it just so if somebody news here, they understand it. Yeah. I think no, because no. the stops are important. And, you know, start with one yeah, contract. Apple's going. Yeah, Apple looks good. But the whole problem was Jerry can't uh, post stuff about the trot strat because he don't trade the strat. Well, he has his hybrid version of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, start a new hashtag, big old move. There we go. Hey, yeah. we'll do that. We'll do that. So um, I guess we need to call it something. Let's, as a group, decide what it should be called. I, mean, I don't yeah. know. What it's we can do, if everyone's okay with it, we know we could probably just make a, because uh, I don't know if everybody uses Discord, but I know a lot of people use social media. Mm -hmm. We can make like a group chat and Twitter and share all our ideas there and build from there, right? At least I like that. in there, there's no confusion. There's not 30 different channels they need to find through. It's, it's one area, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we'll all get to know each other. Then we can build plans together on, on how to actually market. Uh, Does anybody know about how to do that? Anybody want to make a channel and like, Build it? Yeah, I, I, I can help you. Follow. I can help you social media, no problem. That, that's been my forte. So any help on, on that, and uh, I'll shoot you a DM. It'll be from uh, Gary Sethi. I'll shoot you a DM. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you can be in. Can I mean, as far as that goes, you can be in control of the channel. I like to get people in, but uh, I don't know how to do it. You know what I'm well, that's what I'm working on because like. I'm South Asian, right? So I speak a different language, like my, my mother tongue. What I want to do is try to help, you know, my community out that doesn't know too much about trading, but language mm -hmm. is a barrier. So, you know, working with, you know, you in a sense and learning stuff, I can also be able to teach, uh, you know, my, you know, groups of South Asians that speak a different language. And mm -hmm. that was my goal anyways. That's what I just started doing. So I think mm -hmm. this would work uh, perfectly because language is a huge barrier uh, you know, if I can break that barrier down for many of them, then why not? With your stuff, what you teach, I can translate it and show it to them. Uh, it would make a lot more sense that way. I like that. I also like to, you know, I like to keep it simple. But, you know, I think we should, I think like impoverished neighborhoods and stuff like that. And these young people, you know, I think a lot of these people, that's, it's easy enough for young people to catch on to it, man. It's something that could change their life. Like it give it could give them financial freedom and it could help their families, like even people in like third world countries and stuff. Even I mean, internet access and laptops are pretty common, you know. Yeah, I think so what would be is but, we need to, in a sense, create you know a, not just a name, but we'll I'll, I'll create something on Twitter uh, like as in a group chat, and then we'll build from there, and we can discuss ideas, but it's probably have to implement a step at a time. Versus, you know, planning 10 steps and then people just get really confused. But uh, I got a, I got quite a few ideas. I, I've seen what these other striders do. Uh, I've also done marketing for seven years for myself in the fitness community. Wow. So, uh, I think you got, actually, what you have, honestly, it deserves the exposure is what I'm trying to get at. Well, thank you. The fact that the exposure is not there is the actual sad part. So that's what I want to help you with. And all well, of us help you. That's incredible. Yeah, and it's just, you know, it's for the greater good. It's for... Um, it's for the community. It's for everybody. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, well, we just give it away. Like anybody that wants it, you know, of course, they got to put in the legwork and stuff, but it's there. 
Hey, Jerry, yeah, yeah. the legwork, like, I'll just give you an example myself. The legwork wasn't the issue. It was finding a foundation to build upon because there's so many different opinions and ideas. You're like, what do I do, right? And then so much time is lost trying to find the right direction. If someone can at least point you, at least you know where to walk. And I think that is the key thing is to be able to give people a direction and then let them build themselves in that direction versus, you know, some like me who had to learn from so many different people. It's like chicken with his head cut off, right? You're running around and you just yeah. couldn't ground yourself. Yeah, I was the same way. And, you know, I couldn't afford a bunch of uh, rooms and stuff like that when I first started. So I was scrambling for information and traders and, and even alerts, you know, I was, you know, because when I first started, you know, I want to make money. So, yeah. you know, I would take alerts. And, I, and the big thing was, I always want to know why they did it, how they did it, and why they were getting something. You know, I like the alerts, but it was really, I wanted to know how to do it myself. Yep. And no one would tell me. Like, I, I went to buy some shorts. I've been on Atlas. And I'm like, I don't need your calls. I'm trying to figure out what the hell you've done exactly. because that's yeah. the key thing here. Yeah. Yeah, I like Atlas. I was on Atlas, and, and I'm yeah. actually uh, friends with um, with um, Richter 47 He's a really good guy. He answered a lot of my questions. Yeah, Ripster, uh -huh. honestly, is the only genuine guy that I like. The, I got banned on Atlas because I also said buy, sell shorts is a good teacher. Mm -hmm. And I guess they hate each other. I don't even know. There's a bunch oh, of yeah. drama on there, too. I got banned just for using his name. I was like, wow. <laughs> like, give credit when it's due. It doesn't matter who it is, man. Whoever's yeah. good, it's good. I'm the same way. You know, he helped me. No questions. I could send him a, I could send him a direct message right now, and he yeah. would answer it. I mean, yeah. not many people like it. I've asked people some top people and stuff like that. And they would just, you know, flat out say no. They would, you know, say, I can't help you right now. Somebody else will try to help you. They just, they didn't want to give me information. It's like they, if you didn't have money or something to offer them, uh, they just weren't going to help you. Yep, you're right. Hey, uh, CRM, I got an alarm on it. Alert, sorry, not alarm, yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I'm on the five minutes, almost ready to TTO again. Gosh, yeah. Jerry, could you look at CRM? My computer froze, but I got the yeah. alert. Stupid CRM. laptop. Whoever mentioned laptop, no, I got the same problem now. <laughs> CRM. Yeah, it's trying to TTO and trying to come back up, get machine gun. It could see 237.30. It's breaking right, at, right now, that consolidation on the five minute. Apple still looking good. Up 3% on Apple. Tesla, I'm still up 5.77. Still holding out. See what she does. Twenty cent contracts on CRM. That's incredible. Yeah, target two thirty seven thirty. Apple still looking good. We got a Momo hammer forming on five. Love it. Beautiful. Yeah, give it away. Give it away. You know, even like in my community and stuff, I tell people, uh, you know, hey, here's a way to make money and you don't need a bunch of money to make money. Not with a, you know, not if you know what you're doing with, with tight stuff. And they look at you like it's a scam or something. Oh, yeah. Hey, hey, hey Jerry, so, sorry to interrupt. PayPal right now just broke a pivot. Yeah. yeah. They think yes, it's too did. good to be true. Yeah, 30 pivot, 30 pivot, broke, broke a bunch of pivots. This oh. thing might go to the end. Corey, is, is this a YOLO play? Do we YOLO this one? What was YOLO? Oh. <laughs> you only live once? Yeah, pretty much. And then basically say YOLO means like we're putting it all in. Like this is it. <laughs> all in. Yeah, we're going to be like the Wall Street bank guy. <laughs> yeah. We got a burp when we're done. Uh, yeah, the guy, he found a Robin Hood hack and it was like, he was using a bunch of money. Oh, wow. And he YOLO'd on a bunch of testing files or something. It's going, Corey. You broke the pivot properly. Yeah, the, yeah, if you, if, was, yeah. you can get a lotto there for 12, 13 cents. My, this thing, you know, has a good ATR to run. Yeah, it's still got room. Clear. Hey, I got a question for y'all with ATR and, and, and DTR. What is the difference in which one? Like, what are you watching when you're looking at ATR? You want to answer for it? 
ATR's average trade trading range, the other one's average daily range. Oh, you know, okay. The one that daily is a little more accurate than true true range, but it's easier to mm -hmm. uh, that's Daryl. Daryl Daryl's answering. Daryl's yeah. the man. Yeah. What do you say? Oh, he's answering. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, yeah. I, I, go to the chat. Yeah. Basically, average free range is what it can move. Daily trading range is what it has moved. And if it's less than the ATR, it tells you, hey, it's got the potential to move another two or three bucks or whatever. It's an exhaustion risk kind of thing. It don't mean it's got to stick to it because it can easily go past ATR. This is back up to 29.8. Yeah, ATR and DTR. And there's actually indicators and stuff too for it. Now, some of the strategies use it. I don't like it because it creates bias because tickers, they do bounce off of it sometimes, um, but they can go through it. That's one reason I quit using uh, open range and breakout. They do that, work. That, that Ashford guy on Twitter, he, he uses it for Roku, the average daily range. Oh, yeah. Uh, he, he, if you want it, he has a script there. If you want her to get it. The video is short here, guys. The video is short. And hit the top of that or the bottom of the range. It's going to be a scalp. That's so the video stream. Wait, it rocked on. Yeah. Nvidia to 701. What is that sound they keep here? Is that my computer? Yeah. It's somebody's. It's not mine, but yeah, somebody's computer. That's what it sounds like. Oh, yeah. I thought it was mine. I'm still looking around on my screen. Uh, ting, right ting, ting. <laughs> I'm going to scalp Nvidia here. So next time it breaks down here, I'm going to exit. Corey, how'd your PayPal do? It's slightly under. It, it, it hit the pivot. I should, I should have given it some more breathing room. Yeah, some of these are like feet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was trying to come right back up. Two, two up. Do, 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 do. Yeah, Jerry, maybe you should uh, mute everybody. Someone's computer's beeping. Okay, I guess I'll we'll do it right now. Sorry, I'm so focused on this stuff. I can't even hear it. I heard somebody beeping earlier. It sounded like it was at the hospital. Costco's running here, guys. COST, 2-2. Two, two. Crowd might be breaking down. It hit that pivot point. Come on, Cost. Yep, it's going down. It's broken. I mean, in the video, I'm sorry. What are you in? Which one are you in? Crowd. Okay, so I'll give you. Hey, Jerry, I had a question about uh, uh, time frame continuity. Yes, sir. Uh, so, Say the hourly, day, weekly, monthly, all are green, mm -hmm. um, but the direction of the candles is down. Say uh, they're all two down. Mm -hmm. is, is that a conflict, or do you always look for a two up in all the time frames too, or it, it does it just have to be the candle that has to be green? Um. Yeah, but it, so full time frame is, is it's kind of misleading because all the candles could be green, but we could have just had a huge pullback on the weekly. It dropped 50 bucks exactly. and then it's green at the base. So you've got to look at the bigger picture. You want to see, you know, you want to see a good uptrend. You know, so so you, want you want to see the direction where it's going to, right? In the, exactly. In yeah. Point. Yeah. You want to see where it's been on the monthly and the weekly. And then you want to see, you want to look even further into that candle. By looking at the four hour of the day, they see exactly where it's at. It's an up, is it an uptrend or is it is it just pulled back and now it's trying to push back up? And that's really when you want to catch it is is when it's uh, pulled back, TTO and, and trying to come back up to the range. So T2. Or you can hit it, you know, if it's on the daily and it's TTO, -ing, then I'm gonna try to catch it as it comes back up, but I want confirmation on the four hour that price is increasing. 
So that's when I use that push. You know, I want to see at least two TTOs. I, I like to see at least one, but two, T, two of them is better. Now, do you like to see them across all time frames? No, nope, just the four hour. So, so if I see a, uh, if I see a pullback on the weekly or two two or something like that, uh, well, let's see right here on, on Nvidia. See how Nvidia is two two right here? Yep. On the weekly. Okay, so I don't try to guess if that's the bottom, right? Even though it's a two down two up. What I want to look for is a, I want to see at least one TTO. Two's better. So this could be the base, right? We don't know because it's just bouncing. So here's your first pullback. Here's your second pullback. So you want to see at least two. That way we're not guessing if that's the bottom. So roughly like uh, one pullback every three or four candles on the yeah. floor? Yeah, exactly, yeah. And as it pushed up, so it's, you know, it's 3-2 on the month. It's 2-2 two, two up on the week. But, you know, say we took it earlier. You know, you could take it as it pulls back, as it comes up, and then, you know, here it pulls back. You could take it as it starts to 2-2 two, two up with the hopes that triggers these stops. And the reason, you know, that we're so confident, the reason I'm so confident that it's going to take out the stops is because, you know, it's pushing up real nice in the month and it's pushing up real nice in the week. And that's why I say um, we want to have the video hit party there, that's all that. But we want to make sure um, that it's a beautiful monthly chart and a beautiful weekly, weekly chart. So it's an A-plus setup. So we have a good, strong trend. And in a, in a really good, strong trend, we want to see pullbacks. So if it's strong, we can assume it's pretty safe to assume that it's going to keep going higher. So when we see a pullback on the four hour or the daily, we hit it as it starts to push back up, right? Because we, this is a pretty darn good chance that it's going to come on up and make a new high. Right. And it's better when it's dropped down, it's coming back. It's a, it's, it's even more relevant if it's coming back through previous range. Like NVIDIA is at all time highs, which is great. I don't care. I'll trade at all time highs. I don't have a problem doing that. But if it dropped down and now it's coming back through range, first of all, you got targets. All right. You got clear targets, but secondly, you're taking out uh, previous stops. Right. So, right. so you take out stops and push it up quicker. But when you are measuring targets, you don't use the strat way of going to the high of a candle or the low of a candle, right? Uh, no, no. I'll look to the left and either. The, the closest candle above it or the closest candle below it. And I usually try to find targets on, I like the 3060, but you can, if you want to dial it in, you can look for targets on the 15 or even the five minute. Hey, hey, hey Jerry, isn't sometimes full-time frame continuity sort of misleading? And I'll give you an yeah, example. Let, let, let's say for instance, mm -hmm. you got the months green, you got the week green, but then the daily, you know, it it gapped down and it's down to say, I don't know, say eight bucks, yeah. right? But it opens up green, even though it show it's all green, the trends now at that point are deceiving because that daily just took a big hit, you know, with the, um, you know, with the downturn on that day on that gap down. Yeah, it's very misleading. If, if a new trader, if a new trader just said, oh, it's FTC green, I'm going to hit it with a 2-2. It could be very misleading because, that's uh, look me. right here. That's, me. That's what's happening to me. Yeah, well, you gotta be careful. That's why you gotta look at the bigger picture. Yeah. Okay, say Nvidia, see this, see this sideways movement here? Very tight, very tight. And say on this on this day here, everything's full time from continuity to the other side. But it's just it's a green candle, but it's just it's already stuck in this tight range. Hey, Jerry, I just want to interrupt you for a sec. Do donkey, it looks like it's breaking out a lot of volume coming in. If you guys want to play. On a side note, Jerry, I got to go. So I'll message you on Twitter. Uh, everybody else, take care. Have a lovely evening. We'll just keep in touch. Thank you so much. Hello, I appreciate Jerry. you. Have a great you guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Yeah, so when you're looking at these things, always... I say all the time, you want to know exactly what price is doing in relation to the overall trend. So it allows you to kind of see into the future. So when I'm when I say that, I'm saying you look at the monthly, and then when you look at the monthly, it's one bar. When you look at the weekly, 
you're kind of looking into it with like a, I relate it to like a micro, like a hand glass, like a magnifying glass, right? And then when you take those panels and you look at it on the daily, you're using a microscope, all right? And then when you take in, each time you look further and further, you're looking deeper and deeper into the trend. So when you get to like the 60 and the 30, you're using electron microscope. You see exactly, exactly where it's at in relation to trend. So you get a great big, huge picture of what's going on in one candle. It's pretty, it's pretty neat when you think about it. So if you crunched everything up and you just smash it together, you got one candle. Right? So you're just separating, you're just tearing it apart. Corey says, uh, pulling back the onion. You're pulling back the onion. That's exactly right. You, you're just you're looking and seeing exactly what's doing. And it's kind of cool. Doc's trying to break here. And when you can compound this stuff, right? So we see it's perfect, monthly, perfectly weekly. And then we see it's TTO and on the, the weekly or the daily, I mean, and it's pushing back through range. Well, Docky's breaking right now. We can assume there's a pretty safe bet that price is going to keep going. You know, it's going to hit the, you know, upper pivot and then it's going to hit the next target. You know, we, we see in. We can kind of see in the future because we know where it's at. We know where it's been. We know where it's going. That's where the uh, full-time frame front maybe comes into play. We see what's going on. Dalkey's breaking here. I'm not going to take it there. It's too choppy. Yeah, so when you're looking, just because it says FTC red or green, you gotta look at it. Yeah, look at it. Just look at it. Get it, decipher it. Get, get in there and dissect it. So that's the way we compound the bars too. Okay, so when you compound bars, you're grouping bars together, a set of bars to make. Uh, you're compounding the bars to make a candle. So you're just adding together to make a two or one, two, yeah, a rep strap, a signal or, some, or something. You're just compounding, you're grouping them together. So that's what I do with two one twos and the inside bars. The the pivots let you allow you to see it quickly, really quickly. Yeah. And according to the, the strat, the 212, it says to enter on the break of the inside can. And when we take these pivot breaks, that's all we're doing. We're taking the break of the inside can, compound the inside can, that's all we're doing. Yeah. Lockheed Martin, puking. Puking. I don't know why it's puking, but it is. All right, we get a bounce here and another push down would be great. I'm going to take it short. If it wants to puke, we can see 387. They can give it all back. You see it's chopping savage in the weekly. So maybe this was a false break on the four hour. Or we could push up here, retest the four hour pivot, come back out. We're playing chess. We're playing like 340 chess because we are looking at all the possibilities of this thing. There's so many possibilities. You got to think steps and steps and steps ahead. What ifs? What if somebody did this? What are you going to do? We'll see. What if it does this? What are you going to do? You have a plan, you have action, reaction. You got a, a plan for everything. That's why, you know, springtime is important. You got to be able to see what's going to happen. And by having springtime, you can see the basic, the most common trend. You know, um, Jerry, look at Intel, I-N-T-C. 
I, I like the way what you, um, you know, has showed on those compounds. Go to the five minute. You take it from the bottom up of saying, hey, that's the, the two bar going up. And then straight to the right, so one bar, everything's just inside. It ain't doing anything. It's just chopping around. <laughs> That's it. That's but but it. you see a you see the picture better on the trend than sitting there looking at every individual bar, but trying what it is. You're you're grouping as a group instead of, and that's what it's really doing. Yeah. There's a two exactly. There. exactly. 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 Mm -hmm. Instead of trading inside bar and you get chopped, there's your chop. Yeah, exactly. But you're seeing the, the big picture. You're basically showing the, the big picture. Yeah. Yeah. We're looking into that. We're looking at these major bars. Now we can trade this as long as there's enough range. But, you know, with a 20 cent range, you, you want to just avoid it. Yeah, exactly. Um, just wait till it breaks out one side of the other. But you can, I mean, I think it helps you also from, um, you know, you're creating your own inside bar, but you're seeing it on, on basically a higher time frame. Yeah. Like yeah. You're exactly right. Yeah. So a lot of times yeah. you'll see it on the on the higher time frame, you know. Unless it wakes up, you know, if it wakes up a penny, it'll say it'll be a two. But it just helps you analyze the data faster. Even you're almost using that five minute. You can use it for almost any time frame when you group it together like that. Yep, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. That was really Thank innovative. You. you did. Thank you so much. Well, I know what it helped me. Yeah. Well, you can analyze information fast. Yeah, I try to share it. Some people were keen to it. Some just didn't like it. It's because they don't understand it. I mean, why, why do you want to look at every one of those individual candles, especially on a five? That'd be exhausting. Exactly. And then, and, you, and then you're going to get shaken out. This way you see the bigger picture. That's right. Yeah, because when I first started trading the strat, I'd look at the two and the three and the one and the two. You know, you don't have to. You don't have to look at individual candles. You know, the first 30 minutes of the day, I may look at the individual candles. You know what I'm saying? I might trade the two and the one and the two. But as the day progresses, I'm not looking at numbers at all. Yep. I'm looking at movement. That's it. It also helps you if you group it together like that on a higher time frame too, just to see what it's doing. But you you are right. Everything is a two, one, two. It's all it is. Yes, sir. That's it. Accumulation, distribution, or rest. That's it. And the IS is pushing it up, trying to bounce off pivot, and they come back through. Everything's a two one two. <clears throat> it's a two one two reversal, two one two continuation. Right here in MBIS is a two one two reversal. Two goes inside. As it starts up here, and now it's going back down. It's a two one two reversal, and there's sub two one twos in here too. A bunch of them. Um, here's a two one two if you want to count bars. Two one two measure move. So this works for anything. You can use this on futures, crypto. Yeah. Um, just about anything. Forex. The video is supposed to be short again here. Now we hit my limit. I got out earlier. It may puke right here at the end of the day. Who knows? All right. The video is short right here. The video is short right now. Next target on this thing is going to be 682. I don't know if it'll get there, but it could. Yeah. 
The video is breaking pivot here. You gonna be able to scout Tesla for 100% of that? Did you get next week's puts or this week's? Uh, next week. Next week. Huh? Yeah, it's making a quick move. It's just slow. If it was just like flash crashing, I, I wouldn't hesitate to get this week. You know how we saw Tesla just puke yesterday? Or if yeah. you see something like that, I'm buying today's puts. And I probably blew it up on them. If we could see some big red, if we could see these bars like yesterday, right now, man, I'd load up. Oh, wow. And look, you can see how relevant these uh, pivots are on Tesla. Yesterday, that candle came down, touched, pulled back, and ripped right through it. And you know, they don't lag these, these pivots, you know, man. They can span days, weeks, or months, or years. Days, weeks, years. A little stuff in the chat today, ain't I? You know, it's funny. Um, in the Discord, we get uh, there's a strap bot in there, or a twi Twitter bot, strap bot, or something. Uh, it's a tweet shift bot it shows. I'm looking at it. I just saw a tweet come through our Discord. It's Cyber Dog. And he's got some of the top strategies in there. I, work, I call a lot of those guys. Like they paid me pretty big money to show them. I don't, I'm not going to say their names, but good guys. Good guys. It's just funny seeing the names up there. All right, Tesla trying to make a higher high on the 15th. Cost peak, one peak. We just kind of make it up. Let's dock you. Come on. We're gonna, we're gonna get our measured move on back here or what? Oh. Let's stop that in the video. Is Tim still on here? No, oh, he left. Mm. Yes, right. Yeah, so anybody that's got a small account, <clears throat> don't hold, don't, I mean, 
the people that had the bigger accounts, you know, we got a little bit more risk tolerance and stuff. Like when I was goofing off of those Tesla calls, I mean, uh, when I was brand new, there's no way in hell I, I would have goofed off. I took money instantly. So if you got a small account, you lock in that profit. You never want to trade to ever go from green to red, ever. I don't care if you get stopped at a, at a dollar. But it's best to take profits pretty quickly. And, you know, as price is pushing, you can put a one cent trust stop and lock it in. So it's a $10 win and a $20 win and a $70 win. They add up in one day. If you, if you get two or three wins, I mean, you could be up a few hundred dollars. With one contract, you don't have to buy a bunch of contracts each time. And I don't, you know, if you're brand new, you shouldn't. You shouldn't do it anyway. You should start with one. And if you get stopped out, if you get stopped out three times in a day or four times, five times in a day, and each loss was, you know, less than 20 bucks, then you're you're winning. So you can't beat yourself up. You, you're sticking to your rules. Because, you you know, as long as you have money, capital, you can trade the next day. You can live the fight again. If I get stuffed out of something and stuff, you know, looks good on the higher time frame and it's near a pivot, it pushes it down the first time. Well, it might come back up the next time. I'll hit again. You know, I'll have to make my money back from this side. So if I get stopped out a few times during the day, especially in the morning, it can be stressful when you first start trading, but I don't even bat an eye because I know it's only going to take one trade to make my entire day. And that's my mindset. It don't, I mean, it don't bother me at all. And there's days that I'm red too. And when I have a red day, I'm going to share it. I have no problem. I'm, I mean, it happens. It's the real world. Not every day is good. I'm not real. I'm not, you know, I'm not green every single day. Not for years and years. Got to keep my losses small. But if I have a red day, it's not going to be too bad. I could be down two or three hundred blocks on a bad day. But it ain't very often. All right, check your supply just a little bit. I put this on my big screens. Right? This got potential. I'm breaking pivot right now. This time's got some room for today. So in the morning, I wouldn't hesitate to take this. I wouldn't even blink an eye. Look at it. Strong month, got a TTO. Right here is our first sign it's gonna start TTO is on this four hour. We got a base, touch four times. Gonna push back up. A little early, there's no pullback. All right. But the reversal first will start on this on a 60 or well, first 5, 10, 15, 36, whatever. I like to see a bounce and a push up there, and I'll take track the supply long. Isn't it best on tractor supply to at least let it clear the, the 30 uh pivot? It yeah, because the targets because it's the so close. So close, yeah. Let's see, 180, 181. Yeah, 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 exactly. You're right. I thought that'd be more than 20 cents. That looks like a lot more than 20 cents to me, but it's not. So, yeah, it's definitely safer. It's like 40 cents. Uh, let it break that pivot for sure. Yeah, and sometimes on the five minute, you'll have a pivot break or a pivot. And then just if you look to your left, you'll see another pivot just a few cents away. Wait till it breaks the higher pivot. Yeah. So we'll set, I'm going to set a little on top of this pivot here. It's safer. It just gets us outside. It gets us outside that range. So I want to stay. I 
I still think it's Trex Flash probably setting up for now for next week. <clears throat> Yeah, later in the day here, I start looking at the 36s because the 15 just uh, just too busy. Still looking for signals on that, but I see overall trend on the 3060 charts. AMC is waking down. As far as I know, they could pull this thing back up over the weekend or after the next few months. Extra supply still pushing. Needs to break that pivot up there. It's a beautiful TTO in the 30, though. Two solid date and one 15. Oh, I'm sorry, Eric. I didn't just now read your message. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm late. All right, he's a flip, guys. 30 more on minute. Alien baby.
Hey, Jerry. Yes, sir. You had another whole day with us, eh, today? What's that, brother? You you had another whole day with us. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm staying in there for the long haul today, buddy. Oh, we're happy to have you. Yeah, uh, thank you. I hope you catch something right here at the end. Yeah, some days I have to spend more time in here. I like it. I don't mind looking at church. I'll tell you what. Um, there was days, man, where I would sit. Days, weeks, months. I would sit right here for eight hours a day looking at charts or just watching. Just watching. I mean, I put a lot of work in, man. I put in so much work in that. In months. If you look at that trader, mm -hmm. trader flash, Jerry, on the news, mm -hmm. $1.2 billion to buy a market on close. Trade flash. Where are they, where are they buying? I, 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 that, that's just to keep the market makers delta neutral. Oh, you see that on trade oh, flash? Oh, yeah. 1.2 billion to buy yeah. market at close. So what is that? What is that? I don't know what that means. So basically, like I was telling you before, that the um, market makers got to be delta neutral. So right now they're a little under. So they got to buy in order to make themselves neutral since the market went up. Oh, they've got to buy. So the de they're buying the Delta. Yeah, exactly. To get them revenue neutral. Hmm. Now, it doesn't always work. I've done it before. I went out and I bought, said, hell, I'm going to buy this thing that it, it's going to rise. But I've, I, you know, I've also got burnt too. Hmm. Oh, so, so what you're saying is since they have to buy, it could bring the markets up just a little bit right here. Yeah, yeah, it, it can't. Uh, but I've seen it before. Like one time, it was three point five billion. I went after it. And I got hurt. So hmm. it doesn't okay. always necessarily translate. I don't know which word that where where it's going at. Yeah, yeah. So you just have to be aware. It could happen. It might not. Hmm. Look at that. Look at Apple when it, uh, you know, took off and reversed. Mm -hmm. But if, if you would look at the uh, 30 minute candles and the two big ones that are on, to the left connected those, that's exactly where that thing stopped at and reversed. Oh, yeah. Right there. I mean, exact to the pin. I mean, that's where Rob's stuff is so awesome. You know, that broad information. Mm -hmm. I mean, to the penny. So you could have drew that ahead of time, knowing where they got, where it's going to take it. Yeah, the brown information is real, for sure. It's very relevant. Yep, that's just brilliant the way he figured that out. Yeah, price does expand. That's why stocks are hit so easy. Yep, they know where they're at. And then it creates just price expansion. Put just the stuff. All right, Nvidia is trying to come up. Boy, look at Tick Cumulative on the spy. That's really, they're buying it. They're buying stuff real quick. Da -da 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 Nvidia. A lot of time. If you look at the 60 and stuff, the last part of the day here is, um, I mean, there's money in there, but you know, it's just a really, really tight range. You can trade it, there's still six dollar range there, but it's just tight. That's a test that move one way or the other. This is in a range here. Let's see on the sixty, make the higher lows. I'm 
if we're gonna bounce right here. So Tesla flushes through here. I'm gonna get this short real quick. I don't remember if you remember or not, but a month or so back, or I can't remember maybe a few months back. <clears throat> was it spat? I can't remember if it flushed real quick or if it ran real quick. Boy, but I caught two or three dollars on it real fast in the last three or four minutes. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, I mean, I've seen it the last, on Friday, sometimes the last 10 minutes either flushes or it, it races up. Yeah. Glenn, you have a good day. Have a great weekend, brother. I'm glad to have you. Oh, it's still coming down. I'll do chopping. All right, let's uh, let's look when is your volume. Lula's making a move. Right at the end of the day. There's a two down, two up, took out all these stops, coming right back up. Lula's trying to break the four-hour pivot right here at the end of the day. Lulu's long, and you can wait till it breaks the six to pivot. Pivot. That's right here off the bottom, off the base of this spider. Pick up on this thing. Check out the study charts. Here's our free tracing. You and H just puked all day. That track should probably look good. You could push right up and whip out the top pivot. So I can reject it, come back down to 457. So this was that. Put down. Well, look at IYT on the 30 minute. I've never seen a gap up during the day on a, on a regular time frame. IYT? That's a yeah. transport. The transport. Oh, yeah. On five minutes. Look, look at that gap up, <clears throat> you know, during the day. Boy, it loaded up or something, didn't it? Yeah. That's, that's where FedEx is. I'm where FedEx going. Hmm. FedEx or UPS? Yeah, UPS is starting to come up. Oh, sure is. Boy, it's got, well, I don't know if he's going to get there at 212. He could. Yeah. Full step shopping sideways, making more high for all those. But look at it. I mean, it's a big, huge move. It needs a rest. Big move. Yeah, UPS is moving. Next to her, it's going to be 210 and 68. We'll extend on the firewall. All right, Tesla might be flushing just a little bit. Need a clear break. Need a break 595, 69. I, I'm, 
And UPS says it's a little extended it's because it didn't have a pullback. Uh, yeah, on the five minute, there's just green yeah. bar after green bar. And they're yeah, solid. Yeah. So there's hardly any yeah. wicks up through here. Okay. Now down here, it's pretty good because you get the ha the hammer's a wick. So. And it's a small pullback. Not even much. One red bar and a, and a break of that high is enough. And then the That's good. Now look at the uh, UPS on the 60. Um, yeah. So each day, well, not each day, but you see it's puke yeah. and then it flushed, then it puke and it flushed. Yep. It's just a it downwards. Yeah. So it's like each oh. time it flushed, it had a big red candle. That was a green one, but then it just finished puking. All right, test it, guys. This one might be getting ready. Need to break 599, 59. Steel Texas in a really tight range. Consolidation. So we can trade Tesla, but man, uh, we got this range right here. We need to jump out one side of the other. Three forty four, sixteen minutes. All right. Here's another thing I like to do. I like looking, I like looking at these really high price tickers or price tickers at the end of the day too. Look at you. We can catch a few. If we can catch some some actual movement, we can buy a zero BTE. But it needs a quick move. Otherwise, you're gonna get burnt up. So right here on the five minute push up retest, trying to go, it needs a break. 24.54. Just keep an eye on that right there. Amazon. There's a two down, two up 30. He's at 60. It's nice starting to go, Jerry. Ooh, nice. Oh, yeah, breaking right this second. We got a big flush right here at the end of the day. Push. Really nice. It can come up and make it look. It, it can come up and make all time highs right here at the end. I mean, I've seen it run five or six bucks at the end of the day in the last 10 minutes. Look right here on the daily, it's right here at the top. If it breaks 42.82, you have a mass push. Do, 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 do. Costco 2 2 hammer 15 to come right back up. Some more display. Cost to be a quick little push here. All right, cost is long right now. 
Fergus 38761. That's about 50 cents. I don't know if that's worth getting in or not. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's not worth getting in. There's the rewards went enough. The video's trying to free two off. I'm sad as a break. I've got a spy call I forgot about earlier today. It's up 28%. What the hell? Down fifteen percent that way. The bridge right here from the middle. What? I want to say, I want to see if it's going to work here. I'll hold it. It's going to test us. I'd love to see them all just run right here at the end. Spy in the morning. Sure, I'll take it. It could. It could break right out of that daily pit right here and set all them stops out and just jump. Where's Tesla? Tesla bounced off a lower pivot coming right up right now. Tesla. Look here. I want Spy to jump right here. Three minutes. Come on, Tessa, what you got? Spot Tessa. Well, it looks like um, oh shit, I'm up thirty one percent on spy. Okay. Is my stuff lagging? I don't know why. It's fast fiction rip. It's at all time highs right now. Surprise at all time highs. Mm 
Oh, oh see big rush. I bet he's shooting straight back up here, guys. Look at that kick cumulative to Jerry on the five minute on That's spy. Crazy. Yeah. It's just shooting it. straight up. It's a uh, run here. Oh, shit. I'm telling you, Spy can run up another $2 right here at the end. I've seen that. I've seen it run up $3 right at the end of the day. Up 41%. Seven minutes. Watch it. I can't, dude. I've seen it run up two or three dollars right at the end of the day. I'm telling you. And look, it's breaking all time highs. It's all time highs right now. It's breaking out of range right here. So spies on it. I mean, you might want to get it right the second, but up 50% on the dot. I forget all about it. I was going to just run off and leave it. Fifty-one point seven. Oh, let me pull from the third. Thirty-eight percent. Thirty-nine. Oh, there she goes. Come on, four thirty twenty three. Let's go. Fifty eight point six. Come on, four twenty three. Let's go. I want a two hundred percent spike call, sixty two percent. I'm going to find that candle and say, what's she going to I got it forty percent. Let's see what she does. Four minutes. Taking it short. Most test now. Most test the boys.
case of bounce right off pivot low, right back through range. Put that on move. Costco. Should have taken that one too. You just gotta be so fast. Really feel fast. But bounced right here, little pivot came right back up. It just wasn't that big of a move. It just wasn't worth it. Wasn't worth it. Like four percent on spy short. Let's look at the second one. Switch and get out. That's going to be down four twenty two here. Four twenty. Six percent. I'm gonna cut it. I see it. I'm not gonna lose it. Whew. Cost hit. Sorry, I didn't get in fast. What was it? But it hit target there. Ooh. I get more mess back up. Right around Friday. And that was buying. So, oh, tractor supplies went out. Ooh. Be fun today, guys. It's been a fun day. 35 seconds. Which actually did hit that. Tessa. I'm just gonna hit 600 right here. No, there's no way in hell. Ding a ding a ding a ding a ding. Thanks. Thanks a lot, Jerry. We'll talk to you later. Yes, sir. You have a good day. You too. Talk to you later. All right. Everybody have a great weekend. Wow. Yeah. Thanks, Jerry. Have a good weekend. You too. Thank you, sir. Everyone, uh, everyone out there, have a good weekend, all the traders. Absolutely. Appreciate you all. Y'all have a good day. Thank you. Thanks, all y'all. Good weekend. You too. We'll do it again Monday. See you guys Monday. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. I'm going to leave the room open for a little bit. So somebody wants to go, somebody talk about going back through messages or something. I can. Yeah. You have a great weekend.